Good evening, folks. I hope you're all doing excellent. Uh, it is Thursday, the 22nd, just a few days away from Christmas. Happy holidays to what to you know to everyone, whatever it is that you celebrate. Hope the holiday season is going great for you. Hello there. As you can see, I have uh, reorganized and uh, brought some life to my house. You can see I've got all the chests here. They're all kind of in their own little area. They're all organized. Look at this. Got all the wood, got some tools and weapons. We got some animal materials or enemy materials, some skins and leathers. Some chests are empty. We got some food stuff. We got a bunch of resin, all of our trophies, all of our rocks some of our metals all that stuff it's all organized now it's all organized and uh i put some light in here i got some stuff up there to make it so the uh the workshop and the forge are a little bit higher level i've got some trophies hanging around and i got a bed here for wife you guys can see that wife is on the server she's all the way over there doing her own thing she's actually afk right now but she's all the way over there doing her own thing um she will not be helping me with any combat stuff, though. Uh, I told her that the whole the whole idea behind what I want to do with this game is really solo all the combat related things. So we're going to be doing a lot of exploring today, guys. I need to find a swamp. And then when I find a swamp, I have to you know figure out what it is that this key goes to. So that's what we're, what we're doing today. We're going to the find. We got to go find a swamp. And then when we do find a swamp, we're going to build a portal. So that way we can get to and from very quickly. Yeah. That's the plan for today. Isn't this cozy as hell? Listen to the fire crackling, the cauldron bubbling, the wind blowing. It's cozy as hell, man. Who do I see in chat? I see Dadang, Linda, Janet, Mythic Blue, Southern Bell, Wichter, Nimrod, Richard, Guy Shard, Shark Bits with the six Euros. As I'm proud to say, my first death was not to a tree, but to a boar. The tree was only my second death. Yeah. <laughs> it's all right, man. We you got to start somewhere. I just happened to so you know start with start with a tree. <laughs> Thank you for the six zero shark. I'm glad you're enjoying the game as well. Anna and Stanman, hello. Hope you're doing great. Cosmic Kitty, Objectionist, uh, Dante, Mihel. I see Jen and Nimrod. I think I said hi to Nimrod already, but hi, bud. Welcome back again, Eric. My messy life. Hello. This game for Xbox is not on Xbox right now, but it is coming out on Xbox next year. It is a plan. It will be on Xbox sometime in 2023. What's up, Turner? I'm doing well. How are you? Hey, Ludo, Elgernon, Urban. Welcome, everyone. Giannis, hello. Katie, hello. I hope you're all doing great. Did wife do the designing of the house? No, this is all me, actually. Uh, I, this is all me. It's nice, right? It, you know, it's small, but it's cozy. You know, I did all of this myself. The only thing that wife did was put a bed right here. Just because we have nowhere better to put it. That's the only thing that she put down. Everything else in here was me. Also, I did um, expand out here a little bit. We've got three of these uh, furnaces now and three of these charcoal kilns. I've got a couple of bee things, beehives over here. And then uh, wife on the outside. Wife did all the walls. She did all the walls out here. And the reason why we have the walls, and unfortunately I was not streaming or recording at this time, but my house got raided last night. After stream, I was organizing the chests, and then wife popped online to, uh, you know, start start building the walls. But then she had to really expedite it because I got raided, but twice over. I got raided twice over at the same time, guys. I, I, I didn't know this was possible. But I got raided. At first, it said the forest is moving. And then a whole bunch of gray dwarves come out of the forest from that direction up there. And then it said a foul smell. Something, something, a foul smell. And all of a sudden, there was droggers and skeletons coming from the water over there. And then, oddly enough, they both fought each other. They, they all fought, like, right here. <laughs> it was the craziest thing. I wish I was recording at the time. I should have been, man. But they were all fighting right here. And then I just kind of came in and picked everyone off. I just killed all the stragglers. Yeah, Nimrod. Yeah. Is this multiplayer now? Yeah, it's got co-op stuff. You can get up to 10 people on a single, single server. But yeah, the Grey Dwarves came from there. And then uh, all the Draugrs and Skeletons came from right here. And they just kind of fought in the middle. And I just cleaned up. 
So wife built the wall. I did everything with the house. And then I did these uh, smelters here. And then also wife flattened all the ground here as well and built these stairs. And now she's all the way over there exploring some meadows that way. So yeah, that's where we stand currently. That's where we currently stand. And the plan for today is to find a swamp, build a portal so that way we can get to and from quickly and then start exploring said swamp. So with that in mind, I need to figure out what it is that actually we need to build a portal. Um, let me see. Whoops. Not what I wanted. Right here. I need 10 gray dwarf eyes, 20 fine wood, two cores, and a workbench. Uh, I have the cores and the gray dwarf eyes, but I don't think I have the fine wood. So I need to go get 40 fine wood really quick before we go ahead and get out of here. Um, I know I have some. I have three. So I got to find 37 fine wood then. So let's go get our 37 fine wood. I think we get them from oak and birch. So we need to find those. So let's get started, shall we? Thank you all for tuning in today. Coming to hang out with me in today's stream. Thank you for leaving a like on the video. Hey, you guys leaving likes on the video is helping our channel grow in a big way. I really appreciate it, dudes. Thank you for doing that. Let's go find some birch and uh, get our fine wood. I don't think we're going to find birch in the black forest, though. So I'm going to go back this way towards the meadow. What's up, Mel? How you doing? Wife wanted me save? Yeah, she built the hell out of this wall. To quote, Bo uh, to quote Boss McBossington, Wow, you built that wall like a son of a bitch. <laughs> okay, I think I missed a stream after yesterday because this is so not where I left off. No, uh, Talon, I did all this. Like, me and wife did this off stream. Uh, I, I explained what was going on uh, right at the beginning of stream before I started leaving the house just now. If you want to uh, get a quick rundown, just scroll back in the video a little bit. Go away. Go away. I did some off stream work so that way you guys didn't have to be bored watching all that type of stuff happen on stream. Oh, okay. Uh, the tree is in the water. The tree is in the water. Oh, there's a couple logs in the water. What the hell happened? <laughs> Wife just pointed to herself. <laughs> she happened. Hey, Winter, what's up? Did some mining off camera. <laughs> I, I did a little bit of mining, but it was only to get my buckler up one level. So, it, you know, I got it to level two yesterday. Now my buckler is level three. Uh, I'm not sure if my gear is going to be good enough to take on the swamp stuff solo. Sorry, wife is throwing stuff. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're going to we're gonna try to find a swamp and see if we can make it work. Shark, thank you for the six euros. I missed half a stream. And this dude goes from Shanty in the favelas to freaking Odin and Asgard. <laughs> I built the house. Wife built the wall. It looks good, doesn't it? Pretty solid little area. I like it. Will we ever be doing more Elden Ring streams? I know you have done so many already, but I just enjoy them a lot. Um, I'm sure we'll play Elden Ring more in the future at some point, but it's not something that I want to do at the moment. I, uh, I've already done 23 playthroughs and all like, I know that they're not live now, but all of my past streams are on my channel and you're available to check those out. So if you missed any of those, if you want to see like a specific weapon type playthrough, all of those things are on my channel for you to check out. I know a lot of people like to watch my content live, but you know, I specifically save all that stuff, uh, you know, in video format. So that way anyone that wants to ever watch it will be able to do so just fine. There will be more Elden Ring streams in the future. I just can't say when. I'm enjoying Valheim at the moment, and uh, I'm not burnt out of Elden Ring by any means, but I want to make sure that I don't get burnt out of it, so that way when I play it in the future, I continue to have fun with it. You know what I mean? I also look at it like this. Most people play the game maybe, uh, maybe one full playthrough, 
and sometimes you'll see people on average do a second playthrough maybe so when i when i have 23 playthroughs i am uh far above the average playtime of that game so i'm just taking it easy because i don't want i don't want to end up resenting the game i know what it what it's like when you play a game too much and then you end up hating it i did that with things like battlefield uh warzone pubg all that stuff so I just don't want to end up making Elden Ring a game that I don't want to play. You know what I mean? Rags, what's up, man? Rags, I, I, I still love that picture that you did, dude. That's so sick. Is this new world and new game plus? Yes. New world plus, dude. New world plus. How much fine wood do I have? We have 37. That's the exact amount that I need. But I see a birch right here, so I'm going to go chop that down. We may as well just grab some extra. I'm sure I'm going to need fine wood for other things too, you know? to give you a little background on this game sure sure man are we talking like lore are we talking like story stuff oh shoot i'm full up oh shoot men uh we have enough great dwarf eyes right now we're fine all right, well, I don't have space. It's fine. It's fine, man. I didn't realize we were full already. Do you plan to play Neo 2 on stream? I have no plans to play Neo 2 on stream, Dalvin, but uh, I will say I'm playing Wo Long Fallen Dynasty, which is made by the same studio, Team Ninja. I'll be playing that the day it comes out. What is the release date on that? I want to say like March 3rd, something like that. So I will be playing that for sure. What's up, Josh? What's up, Robert? How's it going, guys? Tim, what's going on, man? How have you been? Happy holidays, bro. Hope you're doing excellent. Overall story, maybe? I got you. Yeah, yeah. All right, we got the fine wood that we need. Um, where's my sirtling core things? Where did I put those? Um... What? Where did I put them? I should have five somewhere. Did I need a label maker? Yeah, I probably should label this stuff. Where the hell did I put my cores? Are they in the chest out here? What the hell? All right, we might have to go to a dungeon to grab. I had five left over after stream last night. Where the hell did I put them? Um, I'm confused. These don't take cores. Um, let me see. What else did I make? Those don't take cores. None of this stuff takes any cores. Aside from these two. But I had five left over. Where the hell did they go? Maybe in the carts? Ooh, yeah, they might be in the cart. Good call. Um, it's empty. What the shit? Wife stole them? No, I just asked her. She doesn't have them either. 
All right, well, I guess we're gonna go raid a dungeon really quick before we uh, do much of anything else. Okay, well, it's fine. We've got plenty of caves over to our east. Let's go tackle one. We raiding, baby. Oh, damn, this house looking good. Thanks, Wolven. Thanks, dude. You'll be checking out Atomic Heart when it releases? Yes, I'll be all over that beast. I'm looking forward to that game. It honestly looks like an Atomic Punk, um, an Atomic Punk version of... What's the word? Uh, Bioshock. There's a troll over here. All right. First things first, troll must die. Damn, he's thick. God damn. You guys ever take a mace to the to the balls? God damn. I don't like that attack at all. Ow. down i am i'm at a point where i can actually just go toe to toe with trolls now man that's pretty sick i can just go toe to toe with trolls well at least when they don't have the uh the log weapon if they have a, a log as a weapon then i don't think i can handle those ones those ones are a little bit those ones are scary um there's a cave right over there we can go ahead let's go do that <laughs> Dad ass, I know, right? What's up, Hagrell? How's it going? Grawlin, what's up, buddy? When's MTV gonna vi visit my crib? That's a great question. Then I can go talk to Exhibit about pimping my ride. You guys remember those shows? MTV Cribs and then Exhibit's uh, Pimp My Ride. This looks interesting. It's a great game. It's so good, Esther. I can definitely tell you, though, that my weapons are far beyond the Black Forest now. Or my gear. I am just able to dominate stuff now. The only thing that kills me, or that, I, that can kill me, is the, uh, the trolls with the... the log i want to say you, they use it as a club but yeah um did you set up a uh, campfire outside of a cave wife huh what's this hello all right yeah that uh, I guess I was here and I just never marked it on the map then. All right. Well, let me mark it now and then consider it cleared. Put the red X on it. There we go. How is Exhibit, I wonder? I don't know. I've not actually seen anything on him in ages. That was S tier TV back in the day. It certainly was, man. Fedoris, hope you're doing well. Skeleton turned around at the worst time. All right, let's get in here. This one doesn't have a red X on it, so we should be able to find some cores here. 
Hello, I'm here to take your stuff. Smash. Yeah, we can uh, just kind of speed right through these. Oh, wife's house is getting raided, I guess. <laughs> uh, I'm going to see if I can go over there and help real quick. Is there droggers and stuff? Yeah, there's like droggers and shit. All right, let's uh, let's go help wife. She's to my east a fair bit, but you can make a shield out of skeleton bones. It's stronger but slower than the one you have. Yeah, but it's also um, it doesn't parry. It's a tower shield. I don't really care for shields if I can't parry with them. That's why I'm using a buckler. I'm gonna play Elden Ring at the moment, but I just want you want to know what is your favorite Ash of War for myself is Black Flame Tornado. Uh, I'm into um, Godslayer Greatswords, uh, the Black, uh, what is it, uh, the Queen's Black Flame. And I also like the um, the Ash of War on um, what's it called, Mariah's Executioner Sword and Regalia of Yokade. Oh my God. All right, I brought Grey Dwarves with me, I guess. Oh boy, that hurt a lot. Yes, the Grey Dwarves are a great distraction. Very good. I think everything's good. Oh, you're fighting something. I'm on my way. All right. Still a little more. Oh, I failed my parry. Everything's fine. Oof, that hurt. These droggers hit hard, man. You seeing that, guys? But hey, we're good. We got through it. Ancient Seed. Well, that was uh, interesting. Is the fighting fun? Yeah. The enemies actually actively try to uh, flank you. It's really interesting. Like they'll, they'll work their way around trying to hit you from, uh, from behind or the side. So that way you're not able to fight them all very well. It's really interesting. Wife has her own little thing going on over here, you see? But okay, uh, I'm going to go back to this dungeon now. Entrails, a slimy length of something's insides. Um, tasty, tasty, tasty entrails, I guess. Skating, what's up, man? You want more Black Flame incantations and more Yokate Ash of War, Ash of Wars in the expansion? Yeah, me too, dude. I'm right there with you. I'd love to see more of both of those. I agree. There's a lot of evil things out here just growling at me as I run by. Game have any mounts? Not that I've seen as of yet. What do you want? Get up, go away. Be gone. Skating. They give the $10 super chat says, my dude. What's going on, man? How you doing? 
Thanks for joining me again today, man. It's good to see you. Welcome back. Thank you for $10 super chat, man. I appreciate it. Out of all the Elden Ring playthroughs, what you did, which is your top three. The first time I did daggers only, and then bow only, and then a pretty close tie between uh, incantations and sorcery only. Yeah, I don't know if there's really a way to be able to time any parries against those guys. I don't really think that's possible. But yeah, um, at the point in the game I'm at, uh, having seen only the meadows and the black forest in very small amounts of uh, swamp, I can't really say that I know of any mounts in the game. I just don't know. Thank you again, Skate. I appreciate it, dude. It's really nice of you, man. Did I just kill that spawner in one hit? What the heck? Feathers. I'd rather take those. All right, this one has a good amount of cores so far. We've got four. I think we've explored left and right. The double parry. Oh my God, there's so many of you. What is happening here? Uh, I'm out of stamina. Holy hell, there's a lot of you. Oh my god. What is going on back here? You guys... What? Okay, I need you guys to tell me where the hell the bunk beds are because holy shit, there's a lot of campers back here. Yeah, dude. I found the, the legendary skeleton army. That's where they were this October. Shark bits with 20 gifted members to the community. Oh my God, you love to see it. Shark. Thank you, man. Massive. Let's see those cult emotes for all the new non-cult members. Shark. Thank you, dude. Thank you so much. Reminds you of the skeletons in Minecraft caves? Yeah, Tokyo. Oh my God, dude. They just... They just single file line poured out of that room that was wild shark thank you so much man i really appreciate it dude thank you for that god damn thank you man okay um we got four cores out of this which is exactly what i need i need two so that way i can create two portals so I guess we're good. We got what we came for and a little extra. What's up, Corey? Hey, Greybeard. Damp Squib, hello. What's up, High Samurai and Purex? Good to see you all today. Thank you for tuning in. And of course, as always, if you haven't already, make sure you hit the like button, all right? Hit that like button. It helps out in a big way. I know it's annoying when YouTubers ask, but we wouldn't if it, uh, you know, didn't help so much. And considering we're playing a new game, uh, well, not a brand new game, it's been in early access for a while now, but uh, a new game to me, a new game on my channel, it would mean a lot to have your support so that way we can still, you know, continue growing. If you don't understand this game at all, this is a survival game, which means that you need to take out enemies uh, before they take you out. You need to uh, farm resources like wood and food and stuff like that so that way you can survive. And all the while, the game has a bit of a progression system as far as fighting bosses and stuff goes. Oh, damn. Spawner over there. All right. Thank you again, Shark. 
I really appreciate the generosity, man. And also, um, you guys have been uh, really gassing up my content lately. Like, dude, Guy Shard, if you're still here, you said one of the nicest things that anyone has ever said about my uh, my content ever. And he said that it's like watching a TV show, even though even if he's not interested in a game like this, he just can't help but watch from beginning to end. It's just so intriguing. And like that, that's one hell of a compliment, man. I even screenshotted that and shared it on Twitter because that's how much that meant to me. Thank you, dude. What's up, Biggie? How you doing, man? Shark with another five gifted members. Bro. I don't know what I did to deserve you, but thank you, man. Oh, you're trying to get one for Wolven and it actually worked. Look at that. Thank you, man. Thank you, Shark. Let's see more cult emotes for all the new non-cult members. Thank you a ton, buddy. Really great of you. Hey, Stel Maria. Objectionist, hope you're great. All right. I actually overshot the house again, but it's fine. We're right here. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a portal here, and then I'm going to bring the material with me to make another portal elsewhere, and so that way whenever we find a... What are you guys doing? Whenever we find a uh, swamp, I'll be able to put it right there, and we'll be able to travel back there really quickly whenever we want. All right, let's see... We need 20 of this. Um, put some other stuff away really quick. I'm actually starting to memorize where a lot of this stuff goes to, so it's not so bad. I've got 656 gold. I'm not even sure like what all that stuff is for yet. Wife has mentioned traders, but I'm not quite sure like what that entails yet. So we'll figure that out when we get there. We got that. That goes there. Uh, mushroom should go in here. Where should I put entrails? I guess here where I have two others from the raid last night. Uh, and then skins. Where did I put this, the leathers? There we go. I got 25 troll leather, man. One of these has an ancient seat in it somewhere. There it is. Okay. What else did we need for the portal? Gray dwarf eyes. Right. I need to bring... It's 10 per, so I need a total of 20. Go on. One more. Thank you. That was actually really stubborn to make it move. That was weird. All right, as far as portals go, I think we'll put it right over here for now. Oh, it has to be in the circle. Damn it, man. Put it right there. Hello, Hoogan. Portals are great for fast travel between different parts of the world. Of course, you need to build one on the other end as well, then give the pair the same name and they will automatically connect. Okay. Uh, let's set the tag to swamp. So that way, whenever we find a swamp, we'll be able to build one really quickly. Now, I do need to bring a little bit of regular wood with me as well so I can build a workbench. I don't want to forget that. to be able to make uh, a workbench as well. Uh, let me put three of this away. No. Oh my god. Three. Okay. Thank you. And then let's repair our stuff, and then we need to go exploring for a swamp. Now, I do know that the boss was up here. 
this elder. So I'm going to go back up north and just continue pushing a little bit north and west up here and see if we can find a swamp like on the border. Because I know directly east over here is a meadow and then there's like it looks like maybe ocean over there. So I'm going to uh, hold off on going that direction. We're just going to go north. This house is dope. Thanks, man. I actually built the house myself and then my uh, my wife built the wall around the outside to uh, protect from raids. I thought it was a nice little house too, man. I'm actually really proud of it. I love the building in this game. It's not something I say very often when it comes to survival games. The building in this game is just, it's great. It's really great. Thanks, Preston. Music is nice. Yeah, the music is amazing. Suzanne, hope you're doing great. Good to see you. watching other big name streamers but the content became stale warzone battlefield etc i'll purposely turn off their streams to watch yours and see you play new games you rule yo slim jim thanks for tuning in man that's great that's great man we got some blueberries here i should mark this on the map really fast Also, um, I need to, I, I forgot to do this before I left. I need to mess with, uh, fermenters and see what they can do for me. I know that, um, I've saw the, like the, the bases, like the mead bases over at the cauldron. So it looks like we can make things like poison resistance, uh, health regeneration and something else I can't think of right now, but I imagine the swamp will have things that poison us. So I'm going to have to be careful with that. Hell yeah, Suzanne. Glad to have you. And hey, happy holidays to everyone. I hope you're having a great holiday season. Um, no matter what it is that you celebrate. I know a lot of people celebrate Christmas. Uh, a lot of people cel are celebrating Hanukkah right now. We've got things like Kwanzaa coming up and a plethora of other holidays at this time in the year. So whatever it is that you celebrate, happy holidays, dudes. And hell, if you don't celebrate anything, have a good freaking Thursday, man. Have a good Thursday, you know? Keep on keeping on this way. Josh series are better than Netflix. Yo, thanks, man. wife is yelling found some bees found some bees <laughs> i look over like why the hell are you yelling that in game <laughs> hell yeah biggie we make a josh holiday hey every stream is a holiday dude every stream is a holiday Can you do something to your stamina? It drains fast. There are um, there are things that you can do to like increase stamina regen, like being well rested, like I am right now for the next seven minutes and five seconds. Uh, you can also do things that can increase your stamina regen overall. Like uh, I think there might be a meat base for that too. But outside of that, there is no way to make it so it drains slower that I know of, aside from Ekthir. Uh, you see on the bottom left, I have a power. It's called Ekthir. Yeah, I got that from the very first boss in the game where uh, once every 20 minutes, I can press the F key. And then for five minutes, I won't have to worry about uh, stamina degeneration too much. It uh, decreases jump, jump stamina cost and running stamina cost by 60%. However, I'm trying to uh, not just burn it to burn it. You know what I mean? This is a troll cave. If this troll doesn't have a, a tree in his hand, we can kill it. But if it does have a tree, then I can't. Oh, hey, we're good. What's up, dude? Oh, 
stamina. Stamina, stamina, stamina. Oh, I did block that. Nice. I thought I was going to get smooshed. All right, good stuff. What's in the box? Oh, look at this. Look at that. All right, I'm gonna have to mark this troll clave cave as clear now. It's so satisfying to be able to fight these trolls now, dude. Yeah, the sneak attack spank, dude. Yeah. Do you practice teleportation? Um, every day. Uh, but no, I do have the stuff to build a portal on me. I'm just looking to go find a swamp and then I'll build a portal there. So that way I can uh, go to and from really quickly. Yeah, there's definitely bosses. I've killed two so far. Um, I didn't find them all that difficult so far. The first boss is named Ekthir, which is a giant deer uh, with antlers made of iron. We killed that. And then yesterday we fought the elder, which is a giant tree. No, that's not cave. That's blueberries. A tree called the elder. We killed that too using fire arrows. Ever play EverQuest? Oh yeah, John. Oh yeah. Played a lot of EverQuest way back in the day. On dial-up internet. You make the combat look easy? Thank you. Yeah, I'm just using a buckler to parry. The, the timing on it's actually really simple. I just right click the mouse right as they attack me and it just works out. It's a it's a pretty big window of opportunity. There's also dodging, but I'm doing a lot more parrying because when you parry them, you get a damage bonus. All right, let's keep going west from here. This is where we fought the elder right over there. Right over there. So let's keep going west and hope that we can find a swamp. I keep marking where blueberries are because I'm going to need them for things. Ooh, that world save. Played Asheron's Call for 10 years? Damn, man. I didn't play that one. I've seen a little bit of it played by my friends, but... All right, there's a troll there. Gray Dwarf Spawner there. I have not built a boat yet now. Though I do wonder if it might be better to build a boat and then just sail around until I find a swamp that way. Which, if I need to, then I'll do that. If I must. I'm just going to keep running this way for a little bit and see if I can find a swamp. Yes, if you guys haven't hit the like button yet, make sure you do so. It'd be nice if we could hit 200 before the top of the hour. If you haven't hit that like button yet, make sure you do. Yes, this is on Game Pass. I'm playing it on Steam myself because yeah, I, I've had it since before then. Uh, I bought the game for wife back when it first came out because you wanted to try it out. And so it's on my Steam account already. So I'm just playing it on Steam. Cave. But it is on PC Game Pass as well.
another cave right here. Is the number that pops up when I block how much damage I just blocked? Is that what that is? I want to say it is. And then whatever shows up in red is the actual damage you take. Pretty sure. That's what it looks like. What's up, Azizo? Why do you want to find a swamp? I've only seen bits and pieces of your stream. Uh, Josh, the swamp is the next biome in which I need to go to to progress my gear and overall. Uh, I believe the swamp is where the next boss fight will be as well. When I defeated the boss last night, the elder, it gave me this, the swamp key. It says partly covered in caked mud and it smells fetid, which means that uh, the swamp is where I must, it must be where I have to go next. The thing is I have to find one. Okay, there's a lot of enemies here. Okay, I'm gonna fall down this cliff. I gotta go this way. Oh my god, I'm wall running. Ouch. So many gray dwarves. Oh my god. We'll figure it out, Neon. Armands, thank you for the five euros. It says pizza, question mark. I did indeed get pizza today, yes. <laughs> I did indeed get pizza. <laughs> Armands, thank you for the five euros, dude. Thank you for tuning in today. Hope you're doing great. Thank you very much. And enjoy, enjoy. Thank you for five months of membership. Sub Josh and everyone. Hey, dude, what's up? How's it going? Hey, there's snow on the ground here. Mountain. You are freezing. I'm taking damage from freezing, so I'm going to I'm going to go. We'll have to find a way to deal with freezing, I guess. Okay, so mountain biome exists. Mountain biome exists. Let's not go that way. That's no swamp. Nope, that's no swamp at all. find a way to keep warm in the mountains, huh? There's usually chests in these little things. Not this time, I guess. Guys, please do not uh, spoil things for the game for me. I know a lot of you guys have already played the game and everything, and you know things, and you're trying to help, but uh, unless I ask for the help, please do not reveal things for me. Unless I explicitly ask, I do not want help, okay? Please understand. It's not me being a jerk. I just want to experience the game in a completely natural way. If I must die for my education in the game, then I must die for the education of the game. That's all right. I'm jumping across this. I'm gonna swim. <laughs> Damn jerk. I know I'm the worst. I suck. I'm doing all right, Al. How are you, man? I found a swamp yet? Not yet. Working on that now.
using mouse and keyboard or controller i'm using mouse and keyboard I usually use controllers for uh, third person games like this, but in this case, um, it just feels pretty good with mouse and keyboard. So I just keep using it. Azizo, if I wanted to make a boat, I would make a boat. Relax. Do you reckon Shrek is the boss of the swamp? I hope so. What are you doing in my swamp? If he doesn't scream that at me when I, you know, go to fight him for the first time, I'll be very upset. Man, that rock actually hit me. That's a lot of blueberries. I'm doing all right, Juka. How are you, man? Like a blue mist over at that thing. What is that about? Micromanager with a controller sucks. Yeah, that it does. Doing things like building and all that with a controller is just annoying. What games are you most anticipated for in 2023? Uh, Resident Evil 4 Remake, Dead Space Remake, um, Stalker 2, Wild Hearts, um... Shit. What, what's the other big one for me? Uh, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild 2 or, you know, Tears of the Princess or whatever it's called. That one. There's something else that I'm drawing a blank on just now that I cannot think of that I'm really excited for. Uh, it was on, It's on the tip of my tongue. Armored Core. Yes. Armored Core. Armored Core 6. Very into that. Armored Cores next year? Yes. Ooh. These, uh, these world save stutters, man. How did I forget Armored Core? My brain is all over the place, man. Playing a survival game on stream, trying to make it entertaining, trying to talk to people in chat. My brain is already strained based on that, dude. <laughs> Hogwarts, uh, I might be checking it out, but um, I can't say like that's like my most like it would fall in my most anticipated stuff. It would like for me, it would not fall under most anticipated for next year at all. I don't even think it would make my top 10 for next year. I'll still be, you know, most likely checking it out, but yeah. Oh, my weapons were not drawn, stupid. I love that you can like quickly double parry like that. That's nice. Stamina. Blueberries and a cave right there. Forspoken? I'll be playing Forspoken. Uh, not sure I would say that I, that would make my top even 10 most anticipated as well, though. 
if I'm being completely honest. Like, I, I enjoyed the demo and everything, and I like the idea of the game, but I'm really not that stoked for it, you know? Looking forward to the Star Wars game. Yeah, um, a follow-up to Fallen, Fallen Order, right? And this black forest is pretty big. Yeah, right. I agree, Suzanne. Played the demo and you were not impressed. The world felt rather dead, right? The gameplay itself was good, though. Like getting into actual combat with like the bosses and stuff. That was pretty cool. I like the movement and everything. It's certainly not like I hate the game. I just feel like the overall world is dead. And as far as the overall experience with the story, we won't really be able to f see a full scale of that until the game is released. You're good, Azizo. What's up, Lawrence? How's it going? I need a swamp. We're very far away, my boy, from home. Very far away. I did find a bit of a mountain area, so at least we know where one of those are. There's a runestone back there. Yeah, they likely says the same stuff that we've already read. It's black forest still. And now we're in meadows. Hey, Abel. I'm doing all right, man. How are you? Ludo, take it easy, dude. This is a boar spawn point, so I guess we can load up on some boar meat. A brood over there, too. Hello, sir. <laughs> Almost one shot him. I feel so bad. Oh, thanks, Neil. <laughs> That's solid information, dude. <laughs> combat was messy and unsatisfying. Not enough conscious combat. Like the moveset was not, not thought through. Uh, I, I guess I just don't really agree, man. I, I, I think a lot of people were expecting like a slower combat system, like, like Elden Ring type stuff in the game. And I think maybe that's what's throwing you off as well. Maybe because the, the game doesn't like the, the combat doesn't feel messy to me at all. I will say that it plays very loose, like but what, what I mean by playing loose is like uh, you can move around quickly, change targets quickly. Um, if you don't really aim your attacks well, then they just kind of hit empty air all the time. That's going to be a dead end of water over there. So like, like the combat is loose, but I wouldn't say it's messy. Another brute. This whole cold status effect really, really messes your uh, stamina regen, man. Come here.
I'd rather the ancient seed. Hey, Barge, what's up? But I, I, I feel like a lot of people, uh, when it comes to Forspoken, are overall, like, based on the demo, a lot of people are not really feeling it so much right now for different reasons. Like, yeah, it's just, it seems like it, I, I feel like the game is not going to perform well. I don't know. I guess we'll see what happens when it comes out. I just hope that they made it so the demo feels more bare bones as far as the world goes intentionally and that the actual release has a lot more going on because there has been demos in the past that uh, took out a lot of content in an area where they held the demo. So that way, when the full game comes out, it's still like a, a surprise. You know what I mean? Yucky and raining on roads. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> at least it's not snow, I guess. Got myself falling back to the fire sword to at least get a sense of impact and weight. No, only use sword based combat it was mediocre. Yeah, a lot of the uh, the combat was mostly based around using the fire. Uh, specifically those swords but i feel like um, you have to keep in mind where the game takes place right the game takes place after you defeat the first boss like the demo specifically after you defeat the first boss that's when they load you in and that's why you have the fire sword to begin with because that's where you learned those abilities just from defeating that boss so when, when you carry on from the game there it's kind of expected that you're going to be using a lot of those skills in the next immediate area so that way you can get acquainted with it and uh you know make use of it and learn the moments where it needs to make you know be in the most use in general you know what i mean so i think i think context is a pretty pretty big important factor there yeah day 35 in game look at that i'll go over to this little village and see if there's any uh any beehives Hardest enemy you fought was the camera? Yes, I do agree. The camera needs work. I do agree. I do agree. Uh, we don't need the feather. It's fine. Getting feathers realistically is not that difficult. You were ready to invest a lot of time in Anthem, and it was a disappointment? Yeah, that was... That was a big oof. Amber. All right. No bees around this little village here. Oh boy. I, I can definitely see what you mean though, Shark. Like, I do wish that they did a better job like spreading out the actual usefulness of the abilities that we got in the demo. So that way you can kind of get a better feel for them because most of the enemies were pretty resistant to the non-fire stuff. There's only one fight that I can think of where it was actually useful and that was in that little village that you end up coming across. Um, with all the flying things, you know? So I do largely agree in that, in that regard. They, they did not represent the actual spread of everything very well. Completely agree. Yeah, the music is really chill. I'm going to play Marvel Spider-Man 2. Uh, I don't know. I enjoyed the uh, the first Spider-Man game. Or, you know, the most previous one that originally launched on PlayStation 4. Uh, but as far as playing the second one, I don't really know, man. I guess it just depends on how I feel all the time.
Uh, Dennis, I'm not quite sure what you're asking. Not quite sure. Man, I need a swamp. Brah. Insomniac never disappoints. Yeah, I, I enjoyed the, the the previous one. Like I said, I just I'm not really big on superhero games, uh, so I really have to be in the mood for it when it comes out. there i guess i'm just perpetually always wet because it's raining so stamina regen right now is trash i agree flavio they nailed the movements um but the open world environment is pretty generic i will say that they nailed a lot of the actual look when it comes to uh manhattan they did a great job actually like representing manhattan really well there is a good portion that they kind of just cut out, <laughs> which was very weird. I've been to the city a few times, so like comparing comparing what I've seen of the city, especially at that time, because back then I was actually going back and forth to the city a couple times because uh, Daz lived there. And so me and wife went there to hang out with him one time. And then another time we went there to pick up Dobby, uh, our cat. So that's where we adopted him. So playing that game and then also being in the city around the same time, they, they, they did a pretty good job representing most of it. Like, it was actually pretty solid. <laughs> Spartan was way too short of a campaign. I don't really remember uh, how long it was. Oh, we've got bees. We've got bees. This is good because I need uh, the queen. Oh, come on, dude. Really? Get up there, man. What else am I dropping? I guess those shrooms. Redneck Ninja, thank you for the $5 super chat. Anthem broke my gamer heart. Like I stopped playing games for a minute. Still hurts, man. I feel like uh, a lot of people are in the same boat, dude. I really do. What is this? It looks like a loot bag. All right, guys, let's get, let's see those loot emotes in the chat. <laughs> this is a great excuse to use it. I see a loot bag. You just purchased the game. Nice, dude. I hope you enjoy it, man. like a little aura around it holy shit that's wild what is this i 
Algernon, thank you for seven months of membership. What rhymes with chive lifted censorships? Chive lifted censorships, Algernon? I have a guess. Is it five gifted memberships? Algernon, thank you for seven months of continued membership here, man. Haldor. Oh my God, it's the merchant. We found the merchant, dude. Yule hat, red cap in the style of house gnomes. Verger's circlet, portable perpetual light source for the dungeon explorer. Oh, that's tight. Uh, Megging Yord gives the wearer superhuman strength, increases max carry weight plus 150. Oh, hell yeah. Fishing rod, standard issue, Verger fishing rod, fishing bait times 50, and then Thunderstone. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay, so I have a question. Let me mute this really quick. Uh, Elgernon, thank you for five gifted members, dude. I really appreciate it. That's so nice of you on top of the membership that you already gave. Thank you very much, man. Thank you for seven months in a row and five gifted to the community. Let's see those cult emotes for the new non-cult members. Thank you, Elgernon. Thank you. Really appreciate it, man. Now, a uh, question for you guys. Can I rename portals? Can I rename portals? Yes. Now, can I rename them in a way where I'm not going to be screwed out of instantly teleporting to one to make it happen? Or do I have to walk my, my way all the way back here in order to rename it? I guess that's the curiosity here. Sell? Sold to Ruby for 40. Oh. So we sell our valuables here. That's good. If I'm fast, I can do it. Build one here and name it like the first one. I named the first one Swamp, though. <laughs> That's the issue that I'm having here. I guess I can just go with it for now. It's fine. I mean, I can't not have this traitor. You know, I can't not have the traitor. We've got a traitor and we got a portal to him. Oh, baby. Oh, look at this. That's a cool animation. Okay, um, apparently I just walked into my house from the portal as well. That was weird. I was inside the wall. Sorry, wife was distracting me. <laughs> so I was kind of stuck in the wall for a moment there. Um, let me put stuff away, and then we're going to take a bunch of our valuables and sell them. I want to get that, uh, that Megging Yord thing. Being able to up my carrying capacity to 450 would be massive. First things first, though. I need the bees. The beesness. Are you happy? 
They are happy. Very good. They're happy little bees. I'm really excited that we just uh, found that, guys. That's really great. I'm making some jerky. All right, let's see. Uh, let's make one more so we get rid of this last meat. Uh, we got some extras here. Where are the skins? Put the resin away. Let me take all this so we can sell it all. I think I'm going to be able to buy this, uh, this belt already, dude. This is going to be massive. Why oh, sound the cauldron so satisfying? I know, right? Uh, Patrick, I just found a merchant. I just found a merchant, man. Look at this. Look at this. Now let's sell some stuff. 1531. I'm buying this, dude. Megging Yord. Uh, do I just equip it? Yeah. Oh, baby, that carrying capacity. Look at it. Plus 50%, man. Hell yeah. Now, can I wear this circlet at the same time, guys? Is that a possibility? Does anyone know? And should I buy the Yule hat? It replaces your helmets. Only one armor. Mm, I'm probably not going to buy it then. I'm going to need all the armor I can get if I'm going to the swamp. Hawkwind, what's up, man? How do we love the nice free AC? Oh, it's chilly outside, man. So can I wear this circle at the same time? Is that a possibility? Or does this replace the uh, the helmet as well? Yeah, it replaces the helmet as well. Okay, so if we, if we end up uh, going like dungeon diving, that might be nice to have. Um, I'm a little bit short on getting it by about 39 coins, so I'll be able to get that later. Is it snowing in Tennessee? Uh, no. At least not in my area. Oh, it's so weird that the portal allows me to go through the wall, man. Ghost of Tsushima coming to PC 2023 and need Josh to play it at lethal difficulty. It'll be no, no longer be a PS5 platform, so the bad juju will not be ported over. Did they actually formally announce this, Shark? Is this real life? Turn the portal? Nah, I kind of like that it puts me in the house. It's fine. Hold on. I need to see if they formally announce this somewhere. Hold on. I'm not seeing it. Need some gumbo? Hell yeah, I do. Okay, so I don't think it's been formally announced yet, though I do have the same hunch that it will be out this coming year anyway. I just got excited for a formal announcement, sorry. <laughs> Shark, thank you for 22 euros, man. I'm really excited. Yeah, if it comes to PC, I'll have to, uh, I'll have to play it. 
Not official, but it's been found in some NVIDIA game files. Yeah, I've heard of that, too. Yeah. All right, sold all my valuables, so that's a thing. Uh, we need to keep these on us, as well as the wood. I need more Sirtling cores. So I'm going to go dive in a dungeon real quick to grab some, guys. Or, well, you know what? Um... We'll probably find some by going up that way. So we'll just clear out a dungeon when we get up there. Nothing formal, but it's happening for sure. I have no doubt about that either, Shark. Kai, hope you're recovering well, man. I'm so excited that we found him. This is so big. What does the Thunderstone do? Crackling with energy? Huh. What's the plan now or try to find a swamp from the store we're gonna go back this way and see if we can continue on to find a swamp i also need to stop at a dungeon to get some cores or not, not a dungeon but a, a nearby cave i'm sure we'll find one before long now i feel like finding that uh, that trader there is a big find guys i feel like it's a pretty big deal Cave right over here because I see skeletons. Hey, bud. Blocking skill went up. Very nice. This still on your home island? Um, yeah. Yes, it is. Yoink all of those real quick. Now that's the one we just looted. Let's see what's in here. Ah, dead ends. Damn it, man. There's that stutter again. Love it. <laughs> those, uh, those spawners do not have much health to them at all. Um, it just pointed out the same elder to me. Oh, you know what? This is actually the same black forest. That's why. This is a huge black forest, man. Oh, my God. That's big. Yeah, I can just... um. I can make like a secondary portal system out that way. Yeah, I'll end up I'll end up doing that later. I'll rename it later on. How many cores have we got? We've only got one here. Come on, man. Oh, so mash.
a lot of skeletons in this little area here. Another dead end. Come on, show me the goods. Oh my god. They gave me one more. Is that really this whole damn dungeon? Is that really it? We got two cores? I mean, two cores is really all we need. Or no, we actually need four. We need four. All right, we got to find another cave then. Can you dual wield weapons? I don't think so. Hey, Ben Ben. Yeah, I'm going to have to uh, find another cave here, another dungeon, crypt, whatever they're called. Luckily, we're in the Black Forest, so it's not like they're going to be hard to find. Hey, if you guys haven't already, make sure you do hit the like button. We just hit 200. I appreciate it. Make sure that you uh, hit the like button if you haven't yet. It really helps support what I do in a big way. I appreciate it, dudes. That's a troll dungeon. A troll cave. I'll tell you what, we'll clear this out as long as it's um, a non-tree wielding one. If it has a tree, I'm leaving. not here <laughs> it's it's simply not here i don't think they can leave right because it's like an own its own instance that's weird i guess i'll just put an x on it for now Gray dwarf guy. The gray dwarf spawner over here. Some mash. I've never played this game. What if you can get through the cave's dead ends with the pickaxe and you find you end up finding more loots? Um, I've tried breaking those before. They don't actually break. At least not in these in these specific caves. They don't break. I have tried taking a pickaxe to them and they don't do anything. It's a good thought, though. So many gray dwarves. Can't you heat yourself up with a torch? Um, it appears not. No. There's nothing even in here. There's nothing even there. Hey, thank you, Yakov. I appreciate it, dude. Um, this doesn't look like a cave. It's just a little hinge thing. They're all fighting it out amongst themselves, so we'll let them do their thing. I will not interrupt a bit of a fight between the enemies. 
The enemy of my enemy is my enemy. Did I not pick one up already? I guess not. Shit, man. All right. Shaman and a spawner over there. What's up, James? Hey, Lendy, what's going on? A trollless cave. Yeah, that was weird, right? All right, we're in meadows now. Weird. Another brute boy. Trader's a big find. Congrats. Thanks, dude. Hey, Kurdistan. Hello there. Need to get back into the Black Forest so I can find another cave to jump in. I don't feel rested anymore. Here we are, Black Forest. Ah, camera, please. do the thing with the stuff and the other things i agree off i concur yeah i did that just a bit ago yeah this is like the, the total size of the map pretty big okay why am I not able to find any more caves right now oh there we go asking you shall receive I guess huh where am I from I'm from the US grew up in New York ouch Just mirrors is too dark. I mean, it's night out, man. <laughs> it's night. Yeah, let me see if this does anything for you. Though hitting things with a torch is not ideal. It does pretty bad damage. Finally, another core. Pointing out the same elder as before. You liking the maze? Yeah, it's a, uh, it's pretty damn strong, man. I generally default towards club type weapons in a lot of games that have melee combat anyway, so I was gonna use it no matter what. But I'm glad they're actually turning out to be really strong. 
At least so far, anyway. The name of the game is Valheim. V-A-L-H-E-I-M. Here's the goods. Um. Hmm. I've got a boatload of resin already, so we'll take that. I'll have enough to buy the circlet now. Finding that trader was pretty damn good already been down here let's go back this might be the largest crypt I've seen yet oh yeah Shit, man. Um, we'll drop the arrows. I do not have space for this stuff. The growling's kind of scary. Is it the same as New World? No, this is this is a survival game. New World is an MMO. Very different. Can you give me a tip on how to find a trader? I've checked all nearby islands already. Uh, Joe, fun. All I did was just explore. As you can see, I pretty much just followed the coastline of this entire island, and then I just ended up right there next to him. It was... I'm assuming it's pretty lucky, but I have no way of knowing where to find them at all, man. I just, I got lucky. I stumbled upon it. I, uh, yeah, it just kind of happened that way while I'm exploring, looking for, uh, for a swamp. It just turned out that way. All right, what I think I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back over here to the trader, teleport back to the house. Put all this stuff away and then come back out. Traders are always in Black Forest. Well, if that's the case, then limit your searches to Black Forests. As someone who has no knowledge of New World and then little knowledge of the outside of what I've seen you play, why do folks think this is New World? I have no idea. I truly, I truly do not know. Hey, Oliver. Clubs are stronger than skeletons. Yes. <laughs> I do agree at this point. Yes. Do, 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 do. Can you stop hitting me? That'd be great. A bunch of coal. Skeletons drink, didn't drink enough milk. Yep, that's going to be me in the afterlife. Because I too did not drink much milk growing up. Drank a lot of orange juice with vitamin uh, vitamin D and C in it though, so. And then I took calcium pills. <laughs> so maybe I'll be okay. 
play the Minecraft story mod? I never did. No. Nope. Lactose intolerance said no milk for you. See, I just don't like the, uh, the taste or the texture. I find it gross. I'm not uh, intolerant in like an enzyme format. I'm an intolerant first versus the actual taste. Gross. Yes, this is Fortnite. Yep. Blueberries. Yeah, Balthazar, the background music in this game is wonderful. Do you eat cereal? And if so, dry? Um, I treated cereal like a, like a snack where I would like take a handful and eat it that way. You know what I mean? But if I, if I wanted something like breakfast food related, then I would go for like like bagels or a breakfast sandwich without the egg, stuff like that. <laughs> All this milk propaganda is making me go drink from the gallon. <laughs> milk propaganda. Big milk. <laughs> The deep milk. I'll we'll keep these on us. Uh, we need that. We need these. Let's put the mushrooms away. I'm out of space for my mushrooms. No more space for the shroomies. It's fine. A little bit of overflow never hurt anyone. All right, what else? Uh, I guess we just repair our stuff and get back out there. Bing, 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 bong. Okay, so, um, you know, it looks like this, this is all one giant black forest. Like everywhere north and east of me is one giant black forest. That's huge. So I'm actually gonna go out, uh, well, it looks like that might be the coastline there. We might just need to make a boat and go sail away. What does it take to make a boat? 30 fine wood, 10 deer hide, 20 resin, and 80 bronze nails. You guys want to make a boat? Did I hear deep milk? Yeah, like the deep state, deep milk. <laughs> it's a nice meme. Oh, yeah, I should probably make an actual uh, swamp portal here, too. Also, I need fine wood. I need so much fine wood. I'm glad that, you know, I'm actually glad I didn't find a swamp out that way because I didn't have any fine wood on me. That would have been tragic. Let me go get some fine wood. We'll go from there. Shark, thank you for the six euros. This video is sponsored by Lady Dimitrescu. Got big mommy milkers? Oh, God, dude. Oh, God. <laughs> Mommy milk. Shark, thank you for the six euros, dude. Nice base you got going. Thanks, man. I'll give you fine wood. Fine as in, like, super small, right? Shark with a paid milk propaganda. <laughs> Who's an oak tree? One oaky boy. Let's go ahead and chop that down, shall we?
That's a big tree. The tree is leaving. The tree is... <laughs> the tree is just going away. The tree said, I like long strolls on the beach. And just went for it. Scarecrow, thank you for nine months of membership. What's up, my dude? Two things shark maybe spit out my milk with the lady thing. And what are we looking at to get a new emote for a turtle with milk? No. We will not have any turtles with milk. That's a negative. Gross. Yeah, the tree said, all right, I'm gonna head out. <laughs> Scarecrow, thank you for the nine months of membership, dude. I appreciate it, man. Thank you for that. <laughs> no. <laughs> Damn, that's a lot of wood there, bud. Give me 12 fine wood. Milk turtle, milk turtle. No, no, no milk turtles, dude. Gross. Disgusting. <laughs> Shark. Milk turtle. All right, let's roll this bad boy up this way. There we go. Oh, I can mouse three them. Can I really? Hmm. I'll try that. I shall try that. Oh, we got 22. I think we're just going to go ahead and try to get a couple stacks of these. Chop. 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 So much chopping. All right, we got 36 fine wood. How much did the boat require? 30? So I need a total of 70. I need 70 of them fine woods. We're going on a fine wood adventure. Are we uh, full up on emote slots? Do we have room for more in the future? We have room for a lot more in the future. We have a total of like 28 right now, I believe. And the max is like 50 or something like that. But in order to unlock them, we have to we have to get a bunch of memberships, like a whole bunch of new memberships. And as much as I, you know, enjoy the idea of new emotes, I'm not going to sit here and tell people, hey, become members. Everyone become members. Everyone gift members like that. Just that's just greedy. I'm happy to have the support that I do. I'm not going to tell you guys that you need to unlock more emote slots. That's there's a lot of streamers on YouTube that do push that really hard saying like, give me money. And I'm just not really that type. Not my jam. All right, 47. Choppity chop. What are we at compared to what we need for one now? I do not know. Uh, we're full up. Shoot. 
Um. There we go. And then we can drop this. Um. No, I should probably keep the seeds, actually. All right, let's head back to the house. All right, let me press Q for auto walk. And let me go look at this thing. Do, do, do. Yes, walk around that tree. Thank you. Okay, so according to this, in order to unlock the next emote slot, I need 30 more members. That's what it says. And that'll be our 26th emote slot. And 30 more members, it says. Now, keep in mind that this is constantly fluctuating and is in no way actually representative of, uh, like, any accuracy because it only updates once every 24 hours. So, keep that in mind. It's really weird. YouTube really should make it so it updates live, but it's just, it just doesn't. So it says 30 more members for the next emote slot to unlock. Shark, thank you for 11 euros. Money for Milk Turtle. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> Shark, thank you for 11 euros, dude. Thank you, man. I appreciate it a lot. All right, let me see. Um, wood. We got 56 fine wood. I need a little bit more fine wood. Let me put this stuff away in here for now. Which one has the seeds? There it is. And then the feathers. And then the Raz. Razzmatazz. Put those away. Okay, so we need a little bit more fine wood. Just a little bit more. Let's go. Let me repair this axe first, and then we'll go back out there. If we do unlock another emote slot, I'll talk to Tim about making some type of milk-related turtle emote, okay? If we do. Hey, look at this. Perch. Close to home. What would the emote look like? Do you remember, like, the, um... The old commercials where it would say got milk and you would just see some celebrity just drinking a glass of milk and then they would have like the milk mustache holding a glass of milk. That's what I picture it as. It'll just be a turtle holding a glass of milk with milk mustache. Get that man out of my face. Turtle. Milk. Wait, shark. Thank you for the two euros and the two euros again. This is one says milk, one says turtle. You guys really want milk turtles. <laughs> milk turtles, dude. Hey, so how did this conversation even, even come up? <laughs> what has happened today? Renee becoming a member. Hey, I hope you enjoy the emotes you can use in chat. Potentially milk turtle in the future. <laughs> Renee, thank you for becoming a member of the community. 
Thank you so much. A member of my channel. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Oh, that's the wrong weapon. Oh, one-shotting the brutes. My goodness. Oop, wrong one. Wrong button. Oh, no. Renee saw our craziness and still became a member. What a chat. I know, man. Legend. Legendary status. Thank you so much. All right, that's 25. I only needed, what, like 17 more or some shit? We should have enough. Shark. Shark. With another 11 euros, says I forget, but Milk Turtle is the key to the YouTube gold play button. You guys hear that? We can get a million, a million subscribers on the channel if we have Milk Turtle. I'm not sure how the math adds up, but let's go with it. <laughs> Shark, thank you, dude. <laughs> thank you very much. All right, 80 bronze nails, though. Oof. No, I've got 40 already. We're halfway there. Well, I got 47, technically. Let me put some stuff away. Do, 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 do. Uh, put that there. Do this. Put that away. We got some wood to put away. Okay, we've got 81 of those now. Put the seeds away. Where are my plants at? Where did I put those? There. Resin. It's nice having organization, but it is a lot to put everything away. What I'm, what, you know what I should do is maybe up here I put like a, like five-ish chests and then I can just dump a whole bunch of stuff in there while I'm streaming and then after stream organize it at, you know, organize it into the main chests after type deal. Cut down on time. Shark. With the 20 gifted members. Damn, dude. Thank you, Shark. And Matt with eight months of membership as well as Juice Crew Milk Member Party. That sounds awful. That sounds terrible, Matt. If you could never say that sequence of words in that order again, that would be great. <laughs> Juice Crew Milk Member Party? <laughs> what? <laughs> what did I just hear? I don't know. I don't know, man. Matt, thank you for, for eight months of membership. And Shark, thank you for 20 gifted members to the community. I really appreciate it. Terry with six months of memberships as the milk challenge. Oh my God. And Mel with 10 gifted members as well. Holy heck, dude. Holy heck. Guys, let's see all the cult, mem cult emotes for all the new members of the community. All the new members. Thank you very much. Elgernon with five gifted members as well. Jesus, dude. Thank you very much. I guess we'll see tomorrow if it lets me add another emote slot. Because it just updated. It says 98 more members needed for the next one. And it says 27 instead of 26. So 
but then it doesn't let me actually add another emoji it doesn't let me actually add one right now so hopefully tomorrow it updates and we'll go from there okay Algernon, Mel, and Shark, thank you very much. Terry, thank you for six months of membership. And Algernon with a $2 super chat. Milk, milk, milk. I'm not even sure how to feel anymore, man. <laughs> I need, I need, I need, I just need some damn deer hide right now. Where's my deer hide at? <laughs> Algernon, thank you, dude. And right, we got plenty of deer hide. We have plenty of resin. Okay. We have over 80 of that. I need my fine wood. Where's my fine wood at? Okay. Well, let's go make a boat. Matt with the $2 super chat with the milk and the turtle emojis. Milk turtle, bud. All right. So a workbench needs to be made down here too. Okay. Noted. Why are you at your house? want to sleep yeah all right we're gonna sleep before we go make this thing thanks snowboards guys thank you for the incredible generosity there hopefully it'll allow me to uh, upload a new emote slot tomorrow if it doesn't then we can talk about just replacing an emote that isn't currently used we'll switch something out Kai, thank you for 10 months of membership. All your milk are belong to us. The original internet meme. All your base. <laughs> Kai, thank you, man. Kai, thank you, dude. What other upcoming games are you excited for? Um, Dead Space Remake, Forspoken, Resident Evil 4 Remake. Um, it's not letting you sleep. Why? Oh, did it just cross over in the morning? It sure did. Okay. It sure did. Uh, what else? Wo Long Fallen Dynasty, Wild Hearts, Atomic Hearts. I'm looking forward to all that business, man. Hi, thank you again for 10 months. And Scarecrow, thank you for the fiber. I think it speaks volumes to the community you've brought together that we ran together to get the milk turtle emoji. It's an honor to be here. <laughs> milk turtle, man. Thank you very much, Scarecrow. Thank you for the fiber. I appreciate it, dude. I appreciate it very much. Thank you, man. Um. Boats. The boat has storage? Oh, that's sick. Oh, that's sick. All right, guys, we're going to go sailing to try to find a swamp, okay? We're going to go sailing. We'll see, Deluxo. It's hard to say, like, it, we're, it's really hard to say based on what we've seen if it's of that quality. We've seen very, very small instances of the actual game, you know? So it's really hard to say if the, uh, the quality is of that level, you know? We'll see, though. We'll see. I hope it is. All right, this one is going to be real swamp because this one, this one says swamp and it actually goes to the, uh, <laughs> the trader. I'll fix that later. I just don't want to do it right now. So now that we have that set up, I have plenty of those. We have plenty of these. Put this away. We need what? 20 fine wood. Hold on to this. Put that away. Restock the goods. Um, need to put the skins away. And then we don't need all of this wood.
Okay. Yeah, I think this is fine. This is good. This is good. Let's go sailing, guys. Let's go sailing. Black Myth Wukong is in next year. They said 2023 several times, so what makes you say it's not? Did something change? Hey! Why are you attacking my boat, you little shit? Let's turn it. We are turning. All right, go on then. Oops, wrong button. Ah, we're catching the wind. Very good. Oh, I kind of enjoy how the sailing works. Wait, the wind is actually blowing south, like west, west, southwest. We don't want to go that way. We want to go this way. All right, someone sing a sea shanty now. Who's got that covered in chat? Which one of you is going to do it? The wind is working against me, so it's a little slow. By a little slow, I mean it's almost a standstill, but it's fine. <laughs> Maybe it'll change direction for me. Do I have rum? Fresh out. Slowest boat ever right now, dude. Go. 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 Yo, goddamn bees with the tier two membership. Thank you, dude. Thank you, dude. Hope you enjoy the emotes you can use in chat as well as my videos comment sections. Thank you very much for that. Thank you very much. Okay, so if I bring my speed down, it allows us to use the, uh, the ore to actually move. Interesting mechanic. Okay. I'm learning. I am learning. I just kind of naturally press W to move forward, so I didn't know that it actually changed the mechanic there, but I'm seeing that icon on the left, or I'm sorry, the right under the minimap. Watch out for scurvy. Hmm. Good point. Anyone have any oranges? It looks like more meadows right there based on the trees. Hold on. Don't tell me this is a little blocked in sea. Oh, my waves. Alright, looks like maybe we can go out this river right here. Maybe. The milk went sour and the winds went stale, yo ho. <laughs> Holy shit, man. <laughs> yes, okay. It looks like we have a little uh, waterway right here, our little outlet. The wind changed direction? It did. Maybe we can use a little bit of it to catch some speed down this way, because it is going more southwest. It looks like the paddle's still a little bit quicker. A little bit. Let me try full sail. 
Oh yeah. Oh, catch the breeze, baby. Oh yeah. Oh my God, I'm drifting down a river. <laughs> like not, not drifting as in like a, a boat drifting more like, you know, like Tokyo drifting. <laughs> We're going so quickly. Oh, we can zoom way out too. That's so good. Need for speed Valheim. Yes. Don't hit that rock. Do not be a miniature version of Titanic, please. No mini Titanic. No Titanic cosplayers. Very good. Oh, we are. We are. Oh, God. We hit the. We hit the iceberg. Son of a bitch. Oh, God. What's up, Strata? How's it going? All right, it's going directly south, so uh, we too shall go south. Full sail ahead. Yeah, I'm looking forward to the Dead Space remake in a big way, man. I really am. Ocean. We have found the ocean. In case anyone was wondering, yeah, that's the ocean. It's a lot of water, right? Makes sense. Great. Good. And that's it. That's all there is to see. Nothing more. We are sailing. We are sailors. Man, this is this kind of nice. This kind of kind of a vibe right now. Look at this. We are going full Viking. I see fish in the water. Looks like puffer fish. Yeah, those are puffers. Oh, the wind changed direction on me. Back northwest. Okay, let's um, let's go over this way. That looks like a black forest, doesn't it? It sure does. It sure does. Let's just keep going south. The damn wind. Nandor, thank you for the five dollar super chat. Come sail away. Come sail away. Come sail away with Jush. I like it, man. That is a very bright fish. What was that guy? It's like a pink. Thank you very much, Nandor. And Shark with the two euros to Milkfinity and beyond. Milkfinity would be a great brand. A great brand name. You should go trademark that one. Go register your milk-based LLC. Winter, have a great night, dude. Thank you so much for hanging out today. I'll see you soon, man. Also, guys, thank you for 250 likes on the stream. That's good stuff right there. Thank you, dudes. Do you need a passport and will you be getting duty free? That's a great question. What is the um, what is the immigration and import policy of the swamps in Valheim? Someone Google that. Land ho, you always wanted to say that. You shouldn't insult a land like that. What did the land do to you? Yes, have a great night, Winter.
It says if you have a milk turtle emote, you're good. Damn, man. It's quite the policy. It was a greeting? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Just slow down on me. I need to find swamp, but all I have is ocean. It is considering me in the black forest biome right there still too. Oh, we're in the ocean again. You can't find any laws for the swamp. That might be good news for us. There's another, another puffer. I don't feel rested anymore. That's unfortunate. It's hard to rest on this tiny little boat in the middle of the ocean, you know? How pretty is that? I know. Isn't the game good looking? Look at this. I love that you can see Yggdrasil, too. That's so sick. So what is this? It's just like a little rock outcropping. Let's go check this out. This is just in the middle of the ocean. And it's bobbing up and down. Or is that the water? It's hard to tell. Oh. Um... God. The water is so turbulent. Go on, man. Let's see what this is about. What's going on here? Abyssal Barnacle. Um, can I... Okay, I can use a pickaxe on it. Chitin. Abyssal Razor, Abyssal Harpoon. Oh, shit. Okay. Interesting. The boat? What's the boat doing? Eh, I mean, maybe I should go get it. Oh, you know what? It's actually fine. It's just bobbing up and down. We're good. You're making me nervous. The boat's fine, man. It's fine. Just pretend everything's good. I should probably mark this. Um... Chitin. I'm not sure if these things end up coming back or what, but uh, we'll grab these. You're making me nervous, man. Eat some food. If you see on the bottom left, I already have. Oh, what, 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 what? Uh, hell, this thing is alive. Um, should I be scared? I feel like I should go.
I, I feel like I should just go. Oh my God, it just, it just went under the water. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, so that worked out really well for me then. Holy shit. I'm, I'm glad I left when I did. Oh my God. That was so cool. It is alive. Dude, I love this game. I, I love this game. This is so sick. Holy hell. That thing is alive. I, 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 dude, it, it grumbled and I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> wait. That's why you got nervous. Yes, now it makes sense. <laughs> that was so cool, dude. It's a migrating milk turtle. Son of a bitch. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, so we got this uh, this chitin stuff though, and made it so I can make a harpoon and uh, an abyssal razor, which looked like a knife. That's black forest over there. Particles don't grow on land. No, they do not. Which makes sense that. Um, that it's alive i mean I, to be fair you can find barnacles on like rocks and uh like uh you know uh like piers and docks you'll find them like on the lower side where there is water so i thought maybe it was just like an island out there but then it looked like it was actually bobbing up and down itself too so i thought it was alive turns out it is actually kind of terrifying terrifying prospects There goes Mark on the spot if it moves. Yeah, I guess we'll have to find another one. Oh man, that was so cool, guys. All right, this is for sure another black forest, it says. So the trees look taller. You feel cold. Hmm. Dude, that was the coolest thing. This game is exhilarating. Yeah, it is a black forest. Let's just keep following the coastline here. You know what the crazy thing is? I was actually considering making a portal on there. But I'm glad I didn't. It'll never actively hurt you though yeah I, it just drops in the water but the thing about dropping you in the water is if you're nowhere near your boats at the time then you know that's risking stamina oh that is a rock um let's back it up here i guess i should go a little further away from the coast there's a lot of rocks here you guys would not believe the amount of ships that have sunk in real life from rocks like that. True story. I know that information and apparently it's applicable to the game too. Man, I'm, I'm pumped up on that. Fine. That was so cool. The milk went sour and the wind went stale. Yo-ho. Yo-ho. Gross. This game looks so cool. It's such a good time, Paul. This game is... Don't sleep on this game, guys. Do not sleep on this. This is very good. Yeah, Scarecrow, yeah. Josh has made a very sad time a lot better. Thank you. Hey, I'm glad I can help out, man. Uh, those trees look pretty dead. Let's go check this out. What's this? This is new.
You guys see how those trees have no leaves? That's a new biome. I've not been here yet. What do we have here? Hello. Got some green stuff on the trees too. It's looking pretty dead, but it says black forest still, so. Let's just go along the coast of it here. Hey, Ash. <gasps> Swamp. Oh, hey, there's a Draugr right there. Swamp, baby. Yeah, come out to the water, idiot. Come on out. Stupid. I'm on a boat. Swamp. I need to find a good spot to land. Oh, we are very far from home. Need to find a good spot to land, which I think this is it right here. This is pretty good right here, guys. Will the boat stop? Please stop moving boat. Hold fast. Neat. I think the boat will stay. I, if it stayed in the rougher waters on the other end, then it should stay pretty well there too. Ancient tree, huh? Ancient tree. This is new. Ancient bark and bonfire. Hmm. All right, guys, this is where I expect uh, quite the difficulty increase. So prepare for me to get my ass kicked. Are you ready? First things first, we need to wait. What, what do I hear? There's skeletons over there. I think that's what I heard. What the? Blobs? Ooze and ooze bomb. Okay. Everything is running towards me right now. We got droggers out here too. Listen, man, I'm just trying to make a base real quick like at least just a little portal you know are you gonna come fight me or not I'm on, I'm on your time sir i'm on your time matt thank you again for the two dollar super chats so let's all sing the shanty of the great milk turtle thank you dude i appreciate it Also, it looks like because I'm in the swamp, I'm just perpetually wet too, which is pretty on point because, uh, I don't know if you guys have ever like been near or in a swamp in real life, but let me tell you, 
Everything is wet all the time. If you live in the state of Georgia or Florida or Louisiana, then you already know. <laughs> Leech? Leeches. The game has leeches. Okay, and you do not mess around. You poison? What the hell? Ouch. Oh, I might be dead. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Yeah, Josh is dead. Son of a bitch. I didn't even set up the portal. What am I doing? That's what depression looks like right there. That's what depression looks like right there. F. F. Okay, so the leech is poison. That's a... Uh, that's a big pain in the ass. Oh, I'm so sad. All right, what does it take to make a raft? <laughs> Where's my damn hammer? All right, raft. 20 wood, six leather scraps, six resin. Why can I not exit hammer mode? There we go. All right, resin, leather scraps, and wood. It's okay. We can sail directly there. It'll be fine. It'll all be good. Oh! You evil little shit. Go away. Wow, these rafts are actually large. What the hell? All right, guys, new combat tactic. New combat tactic. If you're naked and you got an enemy chasing you around, drop a freaking raft on their head. GG, easy. GG, easy. Bro, you don't have food? I'm not leaving quite yet. I was just making the raft, man. Everything's good. <laughs> Take that. Stupid boar. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, take that guy. All right. Um, let's just take like three of these. Let's take like three of them. Let's take like two of them. Oops. Let's put stuff away. I am going to be going out there with virtually nothing else, though. Because we have the raft, we should be able to land right near where I died. It'll be fine. I'll keep uh, the hammer on me. Oop. All right, let's go. <laughs> Just drop a whole raft on that thing's head, man. That was awesome. That was tight. Um, how do we steer this bad boy? There it is. All right, back it up. Back it up, baby. All right, now we go forward. We turn hard left. Hard to port, right? Port is left, right? Oh, my God. What is going on? Why is this raft so shit? <laughs> All right, let's go backwards. Wrong way. Yes.
That feel when you're sailing and you get rope through your skull. Are we there yet? Yeah, we just made it. Perfect. Perfect, man. Ooh, this thing. I need you to go, dude. We are turning. We are turners. Okay, so the boat is infinitely better than the raft. I'm going to be honest with you guys. This thing has a, this thing is struggling right now. We're on our way. We are on our merry way. It's good. It's good. It's good. The raft sucks ass. Yes. Yes. So what I should have done there, in retrospect, guys, I knew it immediately when I got poisoned right as I was low health. Um, I should have just dropped the portal right away. I should have. It's my mistake. I should have done that. Live and learn, right? Why is the raft so slow? We're going for a casual drift out to the ocean. Very casual drift. <laughs> What's up, Retro Banjo? Guys, listen, uh, this is my first time playing the game. Um, I, I've, I just made it to the swamp for the first time, okay? I know a lot of people know things about the game that I do not, but I would prefer if you didn't reveal things to me. I want things in the game to be a surprise to me, just like they were a surprise to you the first time you played. Let me discover things for myself, okay? I appreciate it. Thank you. This thing is so damn slow. That's all right. We'll ride it out. We'll ride it out, guys. We're almost out of this little bay area. Almost. Am I using mods? No, this is completely vanilla. I'm gonna cross the ocean on that. You know, we're gonna treat the ocean like we treated that boar. We're just gonna go. How do Vikings send messages? Norse code. I like it. Yes, this is a good time for a Mimir story. True. Tell us a long story. I have a hard time telling stories, um, like when I'm on the spot. Is that weird? Like when someone says, hey, tell me a story, I am incapable of doing it. Yo, Merry Christmas, Chris. What's up, Psyduck? I'm doing all right, man. How are you? Dropping the raft on the ocean? Yes. Isn't that part of the problem? Also, yes. <laughs> Redneck Ninja with the $2 super chest says, tell us a story, Josh. Uh, let me think. Um... Um, 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 Okay, so, uh, this Redneck Ninja, they have the $2 super chat. You, you, you guys know what hockey is, right? I know a lot of people know what hockey is, but there might be people here that do not know what hockey is. Um, 
It's a sport I grew up playing. I used to play ice hockey as well as street hockey with friends and in a uh, official league. So hockey is, think of a smaller scale football or soccer on ice. And instead of kicking a ball around, you're using a stick to move a, a flat cylinder, a puck, okay? And the idea is to put the puck in the opposing team's net to score a goal. Same principle as, as football, okay? Or soccer, if you will. So I was in 11th grade. I was in 11th grade high school. I had a game after school and, uh, you know, I showed up. Uh, I, w I played right wing for my team. I was on line number one, right wing. I was leading my team in goals. I was just, I, I, I'm a very offensive bait based player. So I was almost always, you know, attacking the net. Okay. So it was the second period, about halfway through the second period and I was zooming down the ice. I was right in front of the net of the uh, of the opposing team. I, I, I'm not gonna say team names because I don't want to reveal like locations or anything like that. So just, just bear with me. Um, we were on a power play because the enemy, uh, not the enemy, the opposing team, uh, they, they cross-checked. And in, in, in high school league specifically, cross-checking is a major no-no. So instead of like the usual like two or five minutes, the person that cross checked got ejected from the game, and we did get a five minute five minute penalty as well. And so we're zooming down the ice. It's five players on my team versus four on the other plus the goalie, or four on the other plus goalie. Yes. And so I'm down there on the right side of the net on the goalie's left side. I get past the puck. And I immediately pass it back to uh, the same player that passed it back to me, and he slap shotted it. Okay, he slap shotted it, and when he slap shotted it, it was really accurate. But I was in the wrong place at the wrong time. I caught that puck directly to my windpipe. Directly to my windpipe. Luckily, because it was a slap shot, the puck was kind of circling like crazy. It was it was like spinning. And uh, it landed flat. Uh, the, the longer flat side, the bottom of the puck hit me directly on the windpipe. So luckily, because of that, it didn't have it had more surface area. So it didn't like it didn't like crush or break my windpipe at all. Okay. But I I, <laughs> I was unable to breathe for a few minutes, and I had a massive welt in the very middle of my neck, and it was it was every color of the rainbow, man. It was every color you can imagine. It didn't break the skin, but man, there were, I kind of wish it did because there was so much internal pressure there. I ended up going to the hospital after the game, but I did finish the game out. Um, I sat out the rest of the second period and I played my shifts during the third period. Luckily, we ended up winning the game. We won the game two, two to one. I still remember one of the, one of the biggest games of the entire year that season. It was very, very intense. I took that pup puck directly to the throat, right in the windpipe. And I had a really hard time breathing for like a week. <laughs> I got pucked in the pipe. Yes. It could have crushed my windpipe. It could have. Yeah. Luckily it did not. And so that's my story. Um, that's all I got. I took a puck to the windpipe once. You ate ice cream for weeks. I lived on popsicles for a couple weeks. Yeah, it helped out a lot. My God, this is so slow. Is that how you ended up with your silky smooth voice? Um, I don't know. <laughs> my voice certainly did not sound the same then as it does now. A lot of my voice sounds the way it is now because I'm in my my. my words my mid 30s now and so that's my story that's all i got we got bonked by a baseball that sounds like it hurts took a line drive to the chin but that sounds much worse I feel like if a puck hit me in the chin, it probably would have broke something. I got very, very lucky though. But the way it hit my uh, hit my my throat, my neck, 
I got incredibly lucky. It didn't do any permanent damage. I was uh, breathing normally within a week. It could have been infinitely worse. I got very lucky, man. You ever get into fist fights? No, in high school leagues, man, at least in New York State, in high school leagues, it's strictly not allowed. No fighting on the ice. If you end up fighting on the ice, you get ejected and possibly suspended for the season. And they did not mess around. What's up, Joe? How you doing? Am I going somewhere? Yeah, we're sailing all the way down here where I died earlier. We've got uh, about two thirds of the journey left. Ooh, the wind is in our favor right now, though. Off the ice fighting? I mean, people would do off the ice fighting like after a game and shit, but I never did that myself. I enjoyed playing the game too much to uh, risk anything like that. A lot of people took it a little bit too seriously in a very angry way. Oh, Elgernon, that sounds awful. <laughs> Ouch. Took a slap shot to the ankle and shattered it so I couldn't imagine how much... Oh, yeah, Paul. Jesus, dude. Yeah. Damn, man. Hockey pucks, you mean concrete wrapped in a rubber band? Pretty much, yeah. Essentially. It does not feel very good. All right. Hey guys, do me a favor. If you enjoyed that story, leave a like on the video, okay? <laughs> I don't know what else to say here. Leave a like on the video. Helps on my helps my channel grow in a big way. You guys play a big role in helping my, my channel and our community grow. Those likes go a long way. Thank you very much for doing so. Shark, thank you for the six euros. I love ice hockey. Go New York milk turtles. God damn it, man. Now I want now I want a hockey jersey with a milk turtle on it. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Shark, thank you, dude. Rangers or Devils fan? I'm a Rangers guy. Rangers. They actually just won seven games in a row and then they lost a couple nights ago. Or was that last night? Either way, they won seven games in a row, so they're getting back on track for the season, which is nice. The last eight games are seven and one. Can't complain. It's good shit. I cannot wait to get back and immediately plant down that portal. Cannot wait. It's going to be cool. It's going to be sick. <laughs> Thanks, Miss Bradica. Red Wings guy there. Right on. Yeah, if you guys do watch any hockey, if you watch NHL, let me know what your teams are. Curious. I don't know how many of you guys actually do watch the sport, but I enjoy it myself. Especially playoff hockey, man. There is nothing like playoff hockey, dude. Holy hell. You want to talk intense? Woo. <laughs> that statement about Milk Turtle jersey means that it will be Milk Turtle emotes? Yes. Um, even if it doesn't actually unlock a new emote slot for us, because I just changed the number on me, it went from 30 to 98. Um, I'm going to talk to Tim about making the emote anyway, and we'll swap out one of our current emotes for it. We'll just do that if it doesn't unlock an emote slot for us by tomorrow. It'll take Tim some time to make the emotes, but, you know, considering it's the holiday season and whatnot, he has a family and all that, so whenever he has time to get that together, we'll go with it. Ovechkin 800 goals yet? Yeah, I believe he just broke it the other day, actually. I think he's, what, the third ever player in NHL history to do so? 
I'm so relaxed right now. Kill something. You want me to drop this raft on a puffer fish? I got you, dude. Toronto Maple Leafs fan here. Makes you sad every year. Oh, no doubt, man. They've had some pretty good years, though, you know? They just haven't had, like, a, you know, a Stanley Cup winning year since what? What year was it? 69? I can't remember. I want to say it was in the 60s, though. Blackhawks because of location. Maple Leafs in my heart. Right on. Right on. Man, uh, were you able to go to any games when Blackhawks were on their hot streak for, like, what, four or five years? There was a good four or five year pre period. If you were a Blackhawks fan, it was like a golden era. They had so many wins, dude. Patrick freaking Kane. And the goalie they had at the time, I can't remember his name just now, but he was awesome too. I got into hockey for a while while I lived in downtown Tampa way. Tampa's a really good team right now too. And they're really good right now. Do, do, do. Penguins are my favorite team. Not of now, but back when Lemieux played. Yeah. Watching Lemieux play. I didn't get to watch it much, but I was really little at the time. But like watching some old clips and highlights back when he was on the ice, man. Dude was really great. It's unfortunate he couldn't play more. Shoveling off the pond and playing back in the 80s was good times. Don't follow any sports. Dude, yes. When the uh, Whenever a pond freezes over, man, you can play hockey on there. That's yeah, a good time, dude. I agree. Oh, it was 67? Gotcha. Not 65 or 69, but 67. Nice. All right, guys, we are officially more than halfway there. We are officially more than halfway. <laughs> I know this is slow. I'm sorry. I wasn't able to make a legitimate boat because I didn't have the resources. I didn't have any fine wood. Yeah, Ovechkin's the third player to reach 800 goals in a career. Pretty nuts. He's been around for a long time now. It's kind of crazy. Retro, thank you for the $5 super chat. My first boss was a Red Wings fan, so in 2009, when the Red Wings lost the Stanley Cup, I gave him a copy of March of the Penguins. <laughs> You're an asshole. Hey, so this thing is back. It's in the same spot. Look at that. So it looks like it sinks and then it comes right back up. So the mark actually still works. Very good. Very good. Retro, maybe the Fiverr, man. Shark with the 11 euros again. I picture a turtle in a Bavarian milkmaid dress with pints of milk in both its hands. <laughs> it's like I entered Valhalla already. Jesus, dude. That's an image. Yeah, that's an image, man. <laughs> Shark, thank you for 11 euros, dude. And playing Pentiment. Is this good? Pentiment? I've not played it. If you're talking about if is Valheim good? Yeah, I think this game is incredible. It's a little slow right now because I'm using a raft to try to sail back to my stuff that I just lost, but it is enjoyable. Grew up in mass. Tons of Bruins fans around here. No doubt, man. Makes sense. Makes sense. So if I end up needing more chitin, that's right there. We can get the, the rest of the barnacles on that. I'm not sure if they regrow, but. Where'd the boat go? The boat is still down there by where I died. I docked it over there. Is 
This raft is entirely too slow. You were talking Valheim? Yeah, Joe, this game is great, man. If you like survival games, even in the littlest bit, then this game is something you have to try out. It is on Game Pass, on PC Game Pass. And it will be on Xbox sometime in 2023, so... That's a thing. How long have I been on the water? I want to say a good half hour at this point. I know it's been at least... Oh, you know what it's been? It's been about 21 minutes because my food ran out. These last about 20 minutes each. So it's been about 21 minutes. Are we there yet? About a third of the journey left. Almost. Imagine my frustration when I had to go back to the gravestones and rafts like six times. Yeah. In the future, I'll make sure to have enough to make an actual boat. These rafts are entirely too slow. I legit just bought Maple Le Maple Laughs tickets last <laughs> tonight for March. My hotel and flights were less than the tickets. Best part, I'm still in the nosebleeds. Damn, man. Damn. Those tickets are pricey, huh? Hey, that's still cool, though. Going to a game is quite an experience. That's pretty tight. My wind is standing still? Yeah, hence why I'm using the oar now. It was at my back for a good while. It just went gray on me. Finally got a ship. How do you like it? It's much better than this raft. <laughs> That's why you go to Ottawa to watch Toronto. They're a bit cheaper. Yeah. I've actually never been to a live Rangers game. I've been to AHL games. I've watched all sorts of AHL teams, but I've never gone to an NHL game. We're almost there, dudes. We're close. Hopefully no other monsters are there, because I'm pretty sure uh, without armor and stuff on right now, they will pretty much one-shot me. Oh, the water's getting a little crazy here. Redneck, they give the $2 super chat. That's not a raft, it's an anchor with a sail. It certainly feels like it, yeah. It certainly feels that way. <laughs> Thank you for the two, dude. I appreciate a lot, man. Thank you. Thank you guys for over 300 likes on today's stream, by the way. I appreciate it. <laughs> Almost retro. We're getting there, man. About a quarter of the journey is left. Less than a quarter of the journey is left. Trip seems dangerous. Yeah, if I die here, I'm going to cry myself to sleep tonight. Redneck with the two hour super chat again says, did you take the e-brake off? Who, who was the smart guy that decided to install an e-brake on a raft? <laughs> Thank you, Redneck. I appreciate it, man. Dangle your legs in the water and kick real hard to go faster, right? May as well at this point. Anything to go a little faster. Anything. Um, that's a rock. Shit, man, we're too close to the coast. We're too close to the coast.
Wouldn't that be some shit? We get out here, we smash against a rock, and I'm just stranded in the water. I would cry. I would cry. I'm doing all right, kids. Soon, how are you? Yeah, I've, I've got a Jose. It's the first thing I plan on doing after I get my armor and stuff back on. You get one shot immediately after setting foot in the swamp i know dude <laughs> i know i fear it so much yeah lesson learned with the leeches dude lesson learned with the leeches nice kid soon glad you're all right good to hear it Oh, I can see the trees. We're almost there. I'm pretty grateful that the wind favored us for a good half of the trip, though. The swamp is poison. There is poisonous stuff in the swamp, yes. Leeches and blobs. That's a rock. Hey. Can we stop hitting rocks? It's so hard to see them when it's raining like this. How do you find Valheim so far? I was concerned about the quality of this game, but it seems very fun to play. It is excellent, dude. It is very good. <laughs> to put it slight, to, to put it uh, bluntly, it's very good. Excellent game. If you enjoy survival games, this is one you simply should not sleep on. Are we there yet? Almost. Yeah, it's 30% off on Steam right now, as well as it is on X, uh, I'm sorry, PC Game Pass. So it's only on PC right now, but it will be on Xbox sometime in 2023 as well. So that's cool. That's pretty nice. One more shanty. <laughs> oh, the milk's gone sour and the wind's gone stale. Yo ho. Oh my God. My raft is dying. We are experiencing very turbulent waters. Are you a leech? Go away, you son of a bitch. Hey! Stop! They're actually attacking my, uh, my raft. This cannot be the way I go down right now. Go! Go! Stop it! Are you kidding me? God. Go, man. <laughs> Stop. Dude, turn. Holy shit, turn. Oh my God, my raft. Oh my God, my raft. 
My stuff is right there. Oh man, there's another one, shit! Oh god, there's a skeleton. Oh god, there's a skeleton. What the hell is that thing? What the shit is that? Why are the trees walking? Okay, well, I'm just gonna go this way for now. Uh, five. This. Uh, portal. I need a workbench nearby. Son of a bitch. Um, right here's fine. Tag it. Uh, real swamp. Yes. I'm leaving. Holy shit, man. <laughs> what the hell dude guys we did it we got our stuff back we did it oh my god uh let's put some stuff away just gonna dump all this new stuff in here for now I've got a portal there, so we're good. Oh, man. Oh, man. All right, that stressed me out a fair bit, dudes. That was a little scary. A little scurry. But okay, um, let's head back in there and hope that that whatever the hell that thing is walked away. Wish me luck. Uh, I think I hear stuff. Oh, abomination it's called. Shit, dude. <gasps> Ouch. Get out of the water. Oh my God, no. Run. Everything in the swamp hates me so much. I just need to lure this thing this way. Okay, do I have a moment to relax? <gasps> it's attacking my raft. You evil shit. Okay, so this place is filled with hatred. Yeah, this place absolutely filled to the brim with unbridled hatred. Where are you even coming from? I gotta go. I'm leaving. There's a blobby boy over here. Great news. Oh my god. 
Oh my god, there's so much stuff. I do not like this right now. I have no... I have no way to establish myself with all this shit here. I think the abomination is leaving. Holy hell, guys. What is this place? Blob trophy. <sighs> okay. All right, the abomination is still over there. Swartzy, what's up, man? How have you been? Why does everything in this place suck so much? Frost resistance, medium healing. Neat. Okay. All right. Uh, let's go. Let's go this way. Let's try to explore the swamp a little bit. Ugh, that freaking abomination's on me again. Please don't destroy my portal. Please do not do that to me. And you know what I should try to do? If I can get it to walk away, I'm going to go over there and destroy the portal and rebuild it, like, further inland over here. It's too close to this abomination's point where it walks around. It's actually still walking toward me. Where is it? Are you going after my boats? Okay, it's walking away. I'm gonna, I have to go get this portal. I have to. I can't stay here with this. crafting station what do you mean what do you mean it won't let me break it that sucks this thing killed my crafting station that's why Okay. All right, let's go this way. I just need a spot I can put this down without being near an abomination. I just can't let that... I can't risk that. Yeah, I need a table to help break it, dude. <laughs> I need the help of a nice sturdy table to break it. Skeleton's over there. All right, let me walk this way. Black forest here. I can still hear it stomping around. How you doing, Joe? I 
I can still hear the abomination walking that way. Yeah, that's crazy. They're very loud. Let's run that out so I can eat the jam. All right, I think we put the portal right here. Uh, miscellaneous. Please work. Thank you. And then for the sake of all things, let's go ahead and uh, put a small roof over this. There. Very good. Very good. Now we can uh, travel. Let me mark this as portal. Swamp portal. There we go. Beautiful. We're established, baby. We got them. In a much safer spot. Let's get a W in the chat. That was stressful, man. Now, what we're looking for while we're here specifically is a place to use my swamp key. There's some type of thing out here that we can use the key on. So that's what we're looking for. Hey, bud. Nice shield. Come here. Benches are magnets for mobs. Maybe I should go put uh, like a little wall around that then. Really quick. Are you? Is this real life? An abomination can just appear? Oh, you bitch. sees me. It wants me. I gotta go. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I hate this thing. health and of course you're here why wouldn't you be holy hell dude yeah have that one yeah yeah 
Pooch. Alright, maybe talking shit was the, not the best idea. Holy skeletons, dude. Dude, the swamps are brutal. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh, go away, man. Let me just fight this thing without any interjection from you black forest weebs. Thank you. Hey, get your ass back here. I'm not done with you. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, man. This thing, huh? You better drop me something good after I kill you. Oh, now you're just gonna run away from me? Alright, it's running scared at least. I don't know. I actually hit that. Look at that. And take a while and all your arrows it's not like fire arrows are hard to make man it's all good and it's coming right back to me again nice world save baby Hey man, how you doing? Name's Josh. Would you like fire? Oh, holy shit. Of course. The gang's all here. Yes, fight each other. Yes, very good. Yes. Yes. What the shit? Excuse me? A wraith? What the hell? Okay, well, I have a wraith on me. I'm not sure what that means, but you hurt a lot too. Oh my God, everything wants me dead. Everything in the world wants me dead all at the same time. Yeah. Uh... Okay. 
Okay, first time fighting a Wraith. Dude, this place is relentless. This place is relentless, dude. I can't do a damn thing. Like... It is non-stop thing after thing after thing right now. Where's that abomination? I hear it walking over there. There you are. I just lost it. Chain. Forge bellows, hanging, brazier. Nice. Is that what the wraith just dropped? I think it's what the wraith just dropped. Jesus, man. How much wood do I have? 29? Is this thing stomping around? Right, it's not great, but it's something. Trolls that raided me killed my bees. We got raided by trolls. As in, they're like perma dead. That sucks. I guess it's the game's way of trying to encourage you to not spend so much time at home, though, right? They, they want you to get out there and explore. All right, I still hear it stomping around out here. I know that Abomination is pretty close to dead, and I want to I wanna finish it off. There's a Wraith. Luckily, the wraiths aren't too bad. Come on, man. There's our guy. Come on. Why are you running?
You will die. I will kill this thing. You have caused me so much strife tonight. You will die. Oh, good, a drogger. Oh, good for you. <laughs> I need the tree to back up. The abomination. Oh, God. Okay, that hits me. You suck. We got to run through tight spots like this to get rid of it. But oh, there's a wraith here. Fudge. Oh, so stress inducing, man. No, 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 no. I've spent days in this swamp and I've done nothing. Except run! I just need stamina regen, man. that noise oh oh Jesus It's non-stop, dude. It doesn't end. Look at this shit, dude. It doesn't end. <laughs> it is non-stop. Swamp life, yeah. Holy shit, dude. The abomination's right there, by the way. I'm just waiting for health, and then uh, I'm going to go kill that guy. Yeah, it's going to be great. Let's take a seat right here. It's fine. We finally get a bit of a break, a breather. Water really slows you down. Good stuff. Are you really going out to the ocean? Dude, don't be toxic. You cannot do this to me. I deserve this. I deserve this kill. Get your ass back here right now. You cannot be serious. Get your ass back here.
Yes. Very nice. Oh! Oh god, that hurt. You know what, guys? <laughs> we did it! <laughs> Holy shit, man. <sighs> Can I get a collective sigh of relief in the chat, please? Root mask, root leggings. And it still almost killed me because of that ground slam, too. Holy shit, dude. The swamps are tough, huh? <laughs> this place is hell. Kind of like it, though. I'm kind of into it. <laughs> I'm kind of kind of liking the vibes here. All right, let's go hit the portal so we can go back home really quickly. Dump everything in my, uh, my inventory, repair everything, and then get back out here. Those abominations do not mess around, dude. They will chase you to the ends of the earth. And then for whatever reason, they decide to, like, turn tail and just... Recover, I guess. I don't know. They don't really heal, so I'm not sure what they're trying to do. They just leave. Hey, there's another chain. Okay, our first foray into the swamp is nightmarish. An item prevents me from teleporting. Oh, you know what? I think it's that. Yeah. I did the business. Yeah, man. Screamer, thank you for the $2 super chest. There's two greens and a blue. God damn, brother. <laughs> thank you very much, Screamer, for the two. And Redneck Ninja with the two as well. Congratulations, you have earned one juice coin. Hey, thanks, man. We got a Wraith trophy as well. That's pretty sick. That's pretty tight. Also, some blob trophies. Shit, man. Shit, man. Throw that in there. Uh, I'm not sure what these roots are going to be for, but uh, we'll figure that out. Put that there. We got the resin. Throw that in there with the resin too. Okay, let's repair our stuff. Uh, do I have any more bronze? Or not bronze. Uh, how much wood do I have? Yeah, we need to make some more fire arrows. It took me right around 40 fire arrows to kill it. That's realistically not too bad. That's less than I thought it would take. Um, shoot, where are my feathers? Some of this. What's up, Steve? Also, I'm pretty sure while all that was happening, I saw Agent Sasquatch in chat. I hope you're doing well, man. And if I missed anything that anyone said, just please, please forgive me. Understand that uh, that part of the game that I just went through there, that was pretty damn intense. That was a lot of stuff happening all at once. So forgive me if I missed something. Please forgive. Let 
Not yet, my boy. Not yet. All right, now we need to now we need to push eastward. So it looks like there's a coastline right here too, doesn't it? Ouch. A leech trophy. All right, leech poison hurts. Should have killed the abomination with a raft. Oh my god. You're right. We'll get him next time. Look at that. Blocking is 17 now. You have a bow. Let's try to get you on land. Good enough. Right over there is where I died. Um, there's another abomination. Oh, that's the original abomination. I thought that was the same one. All right, let's go southwest then. The line I'm seeing there is coastline indeed. That's where I died earlier when I first landed here. That Wraith Trophy, still haven't gotten one. I farmed for a while. Did I get lucky with it? Yeah? Sick. I guess when I get back to the house, I'll hang that one up then. Yeah, the well-rested buff really helps out exploring the swamp. Holy hell. Shoot the abomination. No, I'm going to try to avoid fighting them if possible. <laughs> At least for now. This is where I want to be. I saw this structure down here earlier. There's a wraith. Uh, there's actually a couple wraiths floating over here. Hmm. A bit of a treehouse with a bed inside of it. See another structure over there. some droggers around. All right. Another structure there. Let's do some fighting. What's over here? Hey, brother. Want to fight about it? Come here. Yeah. Oh, there's a, there's a thing spawning. Oh, a Draugr Elite? Oh, God. Oh, God. Uh, wish me luck, gamers. Oh, this isn't bad. Owned. Draugr Elite Trophy. Oh, 
I missed it. Shoot. Damn it. Damn it, man. <laughs> oh, the Draugr Elite Trophy's rare as well? Damn, dude. Damn. Are there snakes in the swamp? Not that I've seen, just, uh, just leeches. Or a death count i think that's my sixth sixth or seventh death where was that to the south We are zoomering right now. We are zoomers. Look at this. Those um those Draugr spawners are very fast. They do not stop. Literally every time I killed one, another one was instantly spawned. We're back, baby. And we got the spawner that time too. Oh, baby, we're good. Blob. All right. What is Corpse Run? Corpse Run is a small buff you get after you pick up your corpse. It basically de decreases the amount of stamina you burn. Okay. I know there's another structure over here as well. Let's go check this one out. Oh, this one's got fancy stuff going on. Okay. Iron gates. Using key swamp key. Okay. This looks like a crypt, so I'm going to title it Crypt. All right, guys, wish me luck. Let's go inside. Sunken crypts. Perfect. Shark, have a great night, man. I'll see you later. Thank you for the insane generosity today as well. Take it easy, dude. Oh, it's all wet in here, too. Muddy scrap pile. Um. Okay, that doesn't work, so it must be pickaxe. We can break it with a pickaxe. Nice. Crap iron. Oh, shit. 
Oh, guys, we've got iron status. Shit, man. We are entering the Iron Age. However, um, I'm not gonna be able to get this iron back through the portal. So, what I think I might have to do is maybe I'll take time to fill up the boat with as much iron as possible, and then just ride the boat back to the base. That's pretty much the only solution I can think of to get it back to my house to actually work with it. Either that or build a house in the swamp, and that seems like a bad idea. Okay. More muddy scrap. We're gonna have to put this iron inside of the hold of the boat. I just need to make sure that the boat actually survives. I might ride... Withered bone, what's that for? I might ride the boat closer to this side of the swamp then. So that way I can... Have it nearby. Ten iron. He stutters, dude. Okay, there's that. Is that really it for this crypt, though? This crypt... Uh... Oh, no, there's more right here. Good. Good, good, good. So you don't find, like, veins of ore for iron. You find muddy scrap piles inside the crypts. Noted. Oh, hey. We've got draugers and blobs. Poisoned me. Gross. That's an elite. How does it not see me? Um. Hello? Alright. Something was wrong with that elite. It was not really functioning. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, I, let me put that on. Okay, uh, I'm just about full up. So I have 33 iron on me. I need to go put this in the boat. What's up, French? How you doing? Yeah, if I can bring the boat right here, that would be pretty tight. So the boat's all the way up there where I died. So that's what we're doing. We're going to go grab the boat and bring it back over here. Park it right here. Um, that is a... Sp How the hell do I hear you yelling halfway across the freaking world? What the shit? Hey, let me get some of that iron. That looks like two spawners. 
Yeah, that, that's two different spawners. One for skeleton, one for draugr. I'm not really up for messing with that. Especially because they drop out the elites like crazy, too. Why can't you go through the portal? Uh, you can't bring metal through the portal. Like, uh, you can't bring um, any raw ore or uh, ingots. It's a way the game kind of limits your access. Same thing's happening right there. You know what I think it is? I think it's a nighttime thing. God, that's harsh. Ah, oh, stamina, dude. I just have to go. Ouch. Good God. No! Oh, here we go. I'm dead. Son of a bitch. <laughs> this area at night is a nightmare. Right, we need to see if we can sleep. Damn it, man. You can get overwhelmed really quickly. Yeah, at night, it's an actual nightmare. All right, I'm going to lay down, wait for wife to uh, do her thing. We just need it not to be nighttime in the, in the swamp. Will a torch keep you warm? No. Sleepy time. Guys, thank you for 350 likes on the stream today. I appreciate it. How's the combat in this? Fun. Engaging. Satisfying. Hard. too far off from where we died we're well rested get out of the water there's leeches I say I heard something behind me we got the scaly boys Yeah, having the wet and cold combo happen at nights, plus all the spawners everywhere. Actual nightmare. Oh shit, what's happening? That's massively unfortunate that that just happened to me. How could this happen to me? What? Oh, it's because of, oh, the overall weight is 440. That's why.
Is there still something on my body? Oh, my fire arrows. Okay. We're good. What a nightmare this place is, dude. Beware those that enter the swamp. Yes. In fact, if you can avoid entering the swamp, do that. <laughs> what an actual, uh, like this, this is, um, uh, how do I word this? This is like a, a skill check area, a gear check. If you're not equipped for this area, man, you are not going anywhere. You will not progress. Oh, you little bastard. You little shit, man. The blobs aren't hard to kill, luckily, but they do a lot of damage through their poison. Oh, you're an archer. All right. Hopefully my boat is still here. If the boat is not here, then I'll have to uh, drop the iron off at a, like in at uh, the portal or by that crypt, maybe back in that chest in the crypt because it'll stay safe there. And then go make another boat. But the boat is still there, so we're good. I should probably collect a whole bunch of this ancient bark as well, but I'm not worried about that right now. I'd rather stock up on a bunch of iron. Yeah, come over here. A one-star draugr. Come here. And that's the abomination. Aw, oh, you little bastard. He still got me with that. Come here. He's attacking my boat now. Are you kidding me? Did you kill it? Can we talk about how unlucky that is? Oh, I don't have the, uh, the weight capacity. Son of a bitch. All right, I got to go drop this iron off somewhere safe. That is incredibly unlucky. Like he just walked over there right as it comes back onto my screen and breaks it. That is, that's an oof moment. Some illegal stuff right there. That's what I'm saying, dude. This Draugr is still chasing me. Oh, where the hell did you come from? I thought he was going around the other side. All right. Um, if I drop the iron here, it should not disappear. Oh, I'm so unhappy about that circumstance. 
need to go grab that stuff and then we can just rebuild it by that crypt it's fine you know what's actually uh you know what might be a good thought as well is bring the materials to make the portal with me and drop it right outside of the crypt as well and then i can like take it crypt to crypt with me that might be the play wish you didn't do that oh well i'm still pretty good on health so we're all right gotta take charge and clean the swamp i don't know if that's possible with everything that's here <laughs> oh my goodness was that a triple parry or what oh my i, I couldn't tell if the, the one on the far right side was actually parried or not Here we are. I, I know there's a whole bunch of stuff in here in the water. I am out of stamina currently. That sucks. Right, we got the fine wood. We got the deer hide, the bronze nails. Oh, there's a leech. Quality timing, sir. Quality timing. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go right now. You guys remember those commercials? I, they were on TV all the time when I was a kid. They were for um, some type of medication or adult diapers or something. I can't remember. But I remember seeing there was, a, there was always like uh, elderly people. And they were like having a grand old time just like laughing and all this other stuff. And then talking about how much they had to pee. <laughs> And the song, the song would play. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go right now. <laughs> I, I remember those. It just popped up back in my head when I sung that. Depends on what you were watching. I see you. I see you. Okay, so we have our portal right here. What I want to do is make our way back down to this crypt. We're going to build the boat right outside of the crypts. Then we're going to fill that bad boy up with as much iron as we can and then sail it home. Man, today has been quite the adventure, hasn't it? Always thinking outside the box, always planning ahead. I certainly try. Doesn't always work out, but let's get rid of that one. Get rid of that. I no longer need that one either. Though I think I'm going to leave a mark here. Sir, that that's not very nice. want to mark that abomination there this has definitely been the most stressful part of the game by a long shot You have an axe or a bow? You have a bow. All right. <laughs> Trying to time that parry. Didn't work out.
you can relate to that you're 64 i mean i have to pee all the time because i'm always drinking water or green tea so you know <laughs> plus coffee so i i have the trifecta of antioxidants loads of water to hydrate myself and then a diuretic <laughs> one could say i pretty much perpetually have to pee always never ends all right we're here we made it do i have enough wood i do not let me drop this bone for now hopefully this tree gives me regular wood as well i got things chasing me still oh wrong wrong weapon What's... Oh, there's a drogger over there. Okay, he's leaving. Alright, that gave me five regular wood. Alright, that drogger is trying to sneak up on me. Ooh, you too, huh? Why is my shield not out? Got a skeleton over there as well. I feel like everything in this game just never stops following. Look at these guys. There's leeches everywhere. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> the leeches really want me. Okay, now, workbench. Uh, crafting, workbench. Right there. Beautiful. Excellent news. Uh, we don't need a roof on it. I just, I just need to be able to drop a boat. Uh, miscellaneous. I need resin. I didn't pick up the resin. I'm depressed. I am clinically and utterly depressed. All right, here's the deal. We're going to go ahead and get out of here. I'm going to go back. I'm going to bring resin back with me. And we'll situate this business. Okay. Where did you come from? Game looks grindy as a mofo it's not nearly as grindy as you might think i'm not really grinding anything i'm exploring trying to gather material there's nothing really grindy about that i would say the biggest grind we had so far was gathering copper and tin to make bronze and even then it really wasn't that bad only took a few hours to get good enough gear to tackle the swamp Every time I see the word ooze, I think of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. That's a jump that got me killed earlier. I, I just blocked with my bare hands. That's not good. you have a top down isometric rpg and just in third person i get what you're saying but it doesn't have like that isometric rpg loot system like if you're talking about like diablo or 
uh, any other game like Diablo. Uh, it doesn't have that type of loot system. So it's not that type of grind. It's a survival game. Hey, Gara. Yeah, let me figure it out, Lucas. Let me figure that out, dude. Hope you're doing well tonight, Kara. All right, we made it back to the house. Very nice. <laughs> Let's go ahead and put stuff away and then we need to grab some resin. Oh my god, that rain. Where did I put the ooze? Oh, I actually need 10 of these. Let's not put that away. Uh, we'll just throw this here. I need this. I need the fine wood. I need the, uh, that there. I need 20 resin. Was it 20 or 10? I'll just bring 20. It's fine. It's all good. Put the bones away. All right. Not spoiling, just a quick tip. Telling me that I need certain items in a certain location to do certain things in the game is spoiling, man. It's not a big deal. I already knew anyway. It's called Guck. But in the general, I just do not want that type of help. Okay. We'll just leave this all here for now. Or well, I'll bring some of it. Let's drop one more. All right, it's nighttime here, so it's going to be quite the risk. We're going. In fact, let me eek here. Did you watch the Dune movie? I did, and I rather enjoyed it. I really enjoy the, uh, the books, too, so that definitely helps, but... The movie was solid. I think the uh, the second part of it is coming out at the end of next year. Should I get Valheim if I don't have friends to play with? Uh, a lot of people say this game is definitely geared around uh, playing with other people. Um, but I'm having a decent time playing solo. I mean, I have my wife on my server, but she's still off doing her own thing while I'm doing my own thing. So we're essentially just two solo players in one world. But I would say if you want to have the best possible time, it probably would be best with friends. I know most people play that way and they say it's the, the more enjoyable way to do it. Oh, I didn't kill him. I am indeed, Len. I enjoy reading sci-fi stuff in general, so I'm also a big fan of uh, things like Foundation. One of my favorites as well is uh, The Moon is a Harsh Mistress. If you guys haven't read that, if you're into reading good sci-fi stuff, The Moon is a Harsh Mistress. I think it's by Philip K. Dick, if I remember right. I might be wrong, though. Or maybe it's Asimov. I can't remember. Shit, man. 
Ooh, that would be sick, Len. I'd be down to read. Oh, it's Heinlein. Yes, it's Heinlein. Yes. Yes. Very good read as well, dude. It's short, but it's good. Dune game you'll definitely be playing? Yeah, I'll be playing that. It's a survival MMO. A Dune survival game? Sign me up. Okay, we got more skeletons coming at us here. Stranger in a strange land, yes. D -d -d Double kill. Look at that. Hold on, are you guys gonna attack the boat? You are, aren't you? You will attack the boat if I walk away. That really is quite the predicament. Shit, dude. I didn't think about it like that. Have a good night, Jen. I'll see you later. Um, well, I guess we just kind of risk it, right? We just have to risk it. I should have enough space to go grab the rest of that iron. So I'm going to go do that. And the portal as well. Shoot. Let me make more space just in case. Maybe I should wait until it's not nights. Eh, I'm just, we're here. We're going. Whatever, dude. If he dies, he dies. But the plan is to grab that portal as well and bring it down this way. So that way I can just kind of quickly go to and from specifically that crypt and stuff. And then when the boat is full or mostly full, we can just ride it all the way back to the base. And then ride it back over here or take the you know break it down and then take the portal and then rebuild it yeah that's the faster way that was about three hours ago to do some research on updating bios and upgrading cpus what i missed them within those three hours oh man you have missed the swamp adventures of a lifetime we killed an abomination. Uh, we died a few times to different things, including uh, mass amounts of droggers and skeletons. And mostly, mostly, I've died to droggers with with bows. That's that's mostly what I've died to. Droggers with bows. But all the same, we're making progress. I've discovered how to get iron. And now we're making plans around being able to extract iron from a crypt and getting it back to the house. Oh, stamina. And so that's what we're working on now. Hope your night is going well as well, Degree. Alright, uh, not too concerned about this tin. 
I only left nine iron here? What is a gray dwarf doing here? Yeah, I guess I only left the nine iron here. I thought I left more. Oh, well. Uh, let's drop these and this. Give me the gray dwarf eyes. Did it give me the fine wood? Yes. Right, just making sure there's no iron behind there. All right, we've got everything for the portal. I'm just going to leave this workbench here. Now we need to go back south. Don't forget milk turtles. Yes, never forget milk turtles. Welcome back, Eric. Saw a commercial they're going to make Last of Us into a live action thing. Yeah, and I think the first episode premieres actually pretty soon. It's been in production for a good long while now. Wraiths are neat. January 2nd? Yeah. Not too far away. Just a couple of weeks. I saw that leech. I saw that. Really hope those leeches are not attacking my boat down here. If they are, I can just rebuild it. It's right there, but makes the whole process of what I'm trying to do that much more annoying. There's a green glow up there. Oh, it's a torch. All right, the boat is still kicking. Very nice. I swear I'm hearing something splash and it's not the boats. I feel like there's leeches around, but I'm just not seeing them. All right, how many do we have in here? We've got 33 iron in here right now. So let me clear out some space in my inventory. I don't need, don't need the stones. Don't need the resin. Don't need that. Not sure what the withered bones are for, but we'll hold on to them. All right, let's get back inside here and continue getting some more iron, shall we? Oh, hold on, hold on, wait. I need to build that portal here. Okay. Tag this real swamp. Make sure that works. Very good. Okay, we're good to go. Nothing sneaking up on me. Very nice. Let's get in there. Let's do our thing. Ooh wee. Yeah, they're making a live action God of War series as well. I did see that too. I, uh, I don't think they've made any actual casting decisions yet. At least not publicly. Show me the iron, baby.
Nice. You can make sure that like, it looks like there's a bunch that actually hides under the water as well. Um, man, is it dark in here? All right, it's a bit of a dead end. <laughs> Josh as boy, me as Atreus, huh? We got leather scraps out of this too. That's weird. And keep hearing the growling and the snarling. We can squeeze in here. Hey, bud. How you doing? I can't really hit you too well. There we go. Uh, we'll take the amber. Draugr trophy. I know there's other stuff here, but it's fine. Dobby as Mimir. Perfect. That's a perfect casting right there. You know why? Because he never stops talking. Perfect. Dobby's the type of cat where he will he act he'll actively talk back to you. You meow at him and meows back. Oh my iron. Uh wow. Alright, let me take this stuff out. My inventory is pretty full right now. What's up, Funk? How you doing? You small enough to be a boy? Yeah, I'm pretty short. <laughs> In fact, I would, I dare say Atreus is probably taller than me. <laughs> oh yeah, Mel. <laughs> Perfect. Perfection. Okay, we've got 63 in there. Let's get back in there and get some more. Surviving, just enjoying the storm. Right on, man. Right on, dude. We still have this section to, to look through as well. Uh, this way. It's easy to get lost in these crypts, dude. Dark and darker. Have I seen this game? Yeah, it's like Escape from Tarkov meets D&D. &D. It looks pretty sick. I've not played it, but I've watched other people play it. It looks pretty fun, man. much iron pickaxe is going to be uh, pretty broken soon I am hearing other droggers. In fact, they might be in this room ahead of me. Yeah, 
Yep. Oh, neither of us can fit. Oh, you can. There you go, pal. that. Another piece right there. Hell yeah. Another seer. Hell yeah. All right, we go again. John, have a great night, man. Thank you for hanging out with me today. I'll see you soon, dude. He's a giant. Are you talking about Dobby? Because yes. <laughs> yes, he is. All right, we finally hit a dead end here. I don't think I can actually get that bit. Oh, there it is. Nice. Okay, I need to get out of here and repair my pickaxe. where he's yelling hello down the hallway he just might be jump thank you all right let's hit the portal <laughs> Screaming, that's exactly how it went down every time, too. Balder, I feel nothing, throws Josh slash Kratos into next Tuesday. Josh slash Kratos says, ha, I lived, bitch. Exactly. Exactly. All right, let's uh, put away stuff that we don't need on us right now. Namely that, this, this. Let's put the ancient tree stuff in here. We've got some valuables there and there. Put the wood away. Withering bones. I'm um, not really sure where to put those. I guess here for now. What about entrails there? Then blood bag there. All right, we're good to go. Let's get back out there. Green glow of the catacombs is gorgeous. I agree. It's kind of a nice, like, it does make it feel very undeadish, right? It's, it's pretty cool. It's a, it's a really cool color, color green for this. Keep going the wrong way. We've got the boat more than halfway full of iron right now, too. All right, let's make sure this is all good. There's a spot there, but it looks like that spot is just not capable of being hit. Not sure if this is. Looks like not. All right. You can't store blood and bones together. They'll respawn. Yeah, imagine if it worked that way. All of a sudden, there's just a whole, whole Draugr or skeleton in your house.
All right, that's that for that side. Now I've got this one to do. Let's wait for the stamina to regen. This does open up into another room, which is always good. I do feel like this crypt is pretty large. What's up, Sandesh? No joggers. It's actually pretty good news for me. I like it. Oh my god, hit the damn thing, would you? There we go. Got him. All right, that's all cleaned up. Let's carry on to this room. It's pretty dark in here. There's a chest. All right, more chains, another withered bone. Some coinage, another chest. With lots of iron in it. We love to see that. All right, let's fill up. We have his armor that he's making. Uh, iron will be able to get us I, uh, all sorts of stuff. Uh, new armor, new weapons, new shields, all of that. This is a dead end. Looks like there's a few spots in these specific corners that you just cannot get. But all right, that's uh, good to go. I think this whole section is good now. Yeah. All right, so we do have the other branch of the uh, the crypt or the left side. Let's go check that out now. I've been thinking tin and iron. Can you make steel? Um, I don't know. No idea. Probably not based on how the progression looks, but it's not a bad line of thought. I, I truly do not know if steel is in the game or not. But based on uh, how the progression works in this game, my guess would be no. All right, I'm full. Most games don't really combine the idea of a new area and an old area's resources put together. Now right, we have enough for seven more in here. And then, you know, whatever I can store in my pockets. Pickaxe is just about dead, too. I'm going to have to go back and repair this. Droggerman! you not fit? How about now? Hey. 
Oh, there's so much, uh, so many more scrap piles in here still. So let me go go out to uh, repair my axe and then, or pickaxe rather, and come back and do it again. Oh my God, what are you doing here? All right, that's full. This pure vanilla playthrough? Yes, pure vanilla. There's no fire. Come on. Out of wood. Shoot. There we go. Now let's just get this rest thing going. And then we'll head back in there again to grab some more iron. Whatever iron we can fit in our pockets. Because that's pretty much all we can do at this point because the ship is actually full. Here we go. Hey, Tap Face, how have you been, man? Bro wants a ride, right? Good progression today? Yeah, we've made some pretty good steps. Now it's just a matter of whatever we can fit in our pockets. Other side. Like I'm going to have right around 150 total iron to work with by the end of this. You are wet. Thank you, game. You sure the swamp isn't the goop sea? You start calling swamps goop seas and see how people respond to you. <laughs> you test that one out for size for me, okay? It is so dark in this room. This might be the single, the single darkest room in the entire game I've seen so far. All right, that's clear. You get back to me on that one? Sounds good, dude. You think you saw coins to my left? In here? In this room? I just saw scrap some, something right here. Right there. Yeah, I don't see any coins, man. It might just be the shimmer of green right here that you saw. Oh my god, hit it. Hit it, man. And yeah, whatever, I give up.
Oh shoot, I don't have any more f of the uh, third food on me. Uh, is this a dead end? Yes, it is. All right, we have completely cleared out this area. We are, uh, we're good to go. Just double checking that room specifically because that was the shortest one. I'm going to leave this portal and stuff here. We're going to take the boat for a ride all the way back home. We leave that portal there. We'll be able to get back here very quickly. What I'll do is when I get back to the house, I can break down the boat and then I can just plant it back in the water whenever I need to, whenever we find like another crypt or whatever if i need more iron anytime soon anyway i know we are making away with 120 in the hold plus we have eight on us so we've got 128 i'm not sure what the actual cost of iron stuff is but i'm sure it's going to be a lot oh i dropped iron go back shoot you're right ah it's fine it's only four We'll be all right. I forgot the four I dropped on the ground. Ah, the leeches. Victory, man. Victory. Even the music sounds somewhat triumphant. Hey, guys. Today's stream has been one hell of a good time. Thank you for hanging out with me tonight. It's been so fun. This game is just... It's been a long time since I felt this way about a survival game. This game is great. Indeed, Storm. Planes? Okay, well, I found planes, which I think is an area we'll need to go to later. <laughs> need an area I can actually turn left in through here. I don't know if this is it right here. Oh, that's a bit of a hard turn. Can you move the direction of the sails? Yeah, I, yeah. You, you do based on like the speed and how you turn and stuff like that. I don't like that it just identified planes for me. Uh, we are closer to the swamp still though. Okay, we're back in swamp territory. Let's not ride the coastline too hard here. Oh, look at that green, man. Everything's glowing green. It's on fire right there. Something is just burning away over there. I'm not sure what that is. There's another crypt right there. Shoot. Yeah, that's good. That's right on the coastline as well. That's huge. That could be the next one we tackle. That's nice. What's up, Tuxedo? Yeah, the music in this game is so good, man. a lot of land right there. You 
go around it this way. Pretty shallow water right here. But it looks like we're skating right on through. All right, we've got a we've got a whole hold filled with iron. This is nice. All right, we can just let it do its thing now. Damn, look at this shot right here, dude. Hold on, can I turn off the HUD? Um, I don't think there's a way to turn off the HUD. Unfortunate. Damn. This isn't the leisure boat cruise I signed up for. Yeah, me neither, man. Short couple you can't remember. Alt Z? Alt Z is what is that? Um that's that's terrifying. Um I think I found a, a serpent. Oh God, don't hurt me. There's sea serpents. Go away. Okay, I think I lost it. Oh, man, I cannot deal with that, man. Go away. Not, not me, not now. Not me, not now. Control F3 for the HUD. Oh, yeah. This, oh, yeah. Oh, dude, it's too bad the thing in the middle doesn't go away, too, though. Um. Oh, that's just a fish. Okay. Oh. Control F3. Thank you for that. Alt F4. Yeah, let me Alt F4 it. I'm glad that we lost the, uh, <laughs> that serpent. Oh my God. Oh, it's too bad we can't lose the the, uh, the icon in the middle of the screen. This would make some for some very good screenshots. Hey, like look at the coloring here! Isn't that so cool? Like this right here would be a sick screenshot if that icon wasn't in the middle of the screen. Oh, you're right. I could hold on to the mast. Yeah, that's pretty tight. That's really cool, man. It's such a good looking game. I love this. It's our first time playing. Yes. Yes, Bo. First playthrough and I am loving it, dude. It's such a good game.
Big fan. Big, big fan of that. Iggy de Racil. The D is for Dennis. Perfect. <laughs> I'm doing well, Alexandru. How are you? Classic Yggdrasil, yes. That's the big tree that you see. That's the world tree Yggdrasil. Or at least, uh, you know, a branch of it. Sea travel's so nice. It is. So screenshot worthy. I just wish we could zoom out more without the HUD on. It doesn't let me scroll out or zoom out rather. Can I up the game music? Is the game music still too quiet? I'll turn it up a tad. I'm down for that. Yeah, Alexandria, yeah. I'm pretty prepared. I'm ready. Jewish cameraman mode on. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's crazy how much faster this boat is compared to the, uh, the raft. Game's only $13. On this game is only $13 on Steam right now. Holy shit, dude. Well, if anyone's considering buying it, now's the time. 13 bucks for this? Absolutely yes. I don't see how you don't do that. Winter sale? Dude, that's so sick. It's all right. This time it's good, Redneck. We're not on a raft, so it's much faster. Much, much faster. It's on PC Game Pass as well. Yep. There's a lot of people that still don't have Game Pass, but if you don't have Game Pass and you want to just outright own the game, $13 is nothing to sneeze at. This game is worth that and more. I think the game at full price is what? Like 20? So even at $20, it's quite the steal. This is a game that I would say is very worth a full price tag of 60 USD. Okay, this game is absolutely worth that. $20 full price is a steal, let alone it being on sale at 13 is an even larger steal. Holy hell, that's cool. You love seeing quality games for a low price. That's nice. mentioned that it's early access yeah and it's early access yeah it just got a huge update what three weeks ago or something like that with the uh the mistlands update as well so we're still pumping out content for the game too is there a doggo you can pet not as of yet not that i know of no doggo zero out of ten
really indeed is $13.99 on Steam. I was considering buying it for that. Yeah, apparently it's on sale, Cassandra. Now's the time. It's only $20 full price too. So even if you don't get it at the sale, it's not like you're paying that much more for it. But shit, this game is absolutely worth every penny. Look at that, we're almost home. Almost home with a full hold of iron. There's all sorts of rocks in this river. Gotta be careful. Yeah, looking good. I really should put a half mast, but we're just cruising on through here. Is that a rock or is that a fish? That's a fish. Or that's a neck rather. <laughs> it's not a fish or a rock, it's a neck. That's a rock, however. Let's avoid that. Nice. All right, right here's where we want to go. Right about there. Payday 2 is 99 cents. Nice. I feel like that game is always on sale. Every time Steam has any type of major sale at all, that one's up there all the time. I don't blame them. It's a classic. Just about here. Man, what a trek. What an adventure it was at the swamp. Crazy adventure. Remember Caden Lynch? Yeah. Found that better than Payday? Yeah, I think I like that more than Payday as well, actually. I didn't play it a whole lot though, but still, still enjoyed it. Guys, we've made it. There's home. There it is. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Let's get some W's in the chat. We made it. What an adventure. You know what we can do? Um... Let me grab some wood first. It's time to get this iron a smelting. So let's start off with getting these all raring and roaring with all the fire.
Get a fence for the house? Yeah, wife did that for me. Oh god, that's heavy. There we go. Oh, I love the smoke effects. Iron! Iron scale mail, greaves, arrows. Hat gear, axe, battle axe, another bow. Hell yeah. Iron helmet, iron nails, iron mace. That's what I want right there. The iron mace. Iron buckler, ancient bark spear. Corner celebration, iron sword. Whole bunch of stuff, man. Forge tool rack, smith's anvil. Cages? Wood, iron beams, iron gates, reinforced chests, really? Oh, we can make the green torches? Oh, sign me up, dude. Sign me up, man. Um, shit. That ain't gonna work. You know what I need to do? I just need to put this wood away. I have been busy, Seal. What's up, man? I'd be down for this to be the chill, chill stream game of choice whenever. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. game could be stressful yeah like when we first got to the swamp that was a pretty stressful little bit of time <laughs> pretty stressful hour i should say i still got 30 iron on me what am i doing Yeah, I really should make like a dock and stuff here. It's actually quite the nice shape for it. If we just get rid of those rocks right there. Um, I just found a fish in my boat. I found a fish in my boat. Might need more smelters. I feel like three is pretty good. It'll burn through a lot of this stuff pretty quick. No matter what, I mean, we just have to allow time to uh, transpire. Uh, fish. All right, let's go grab the rest of the iron out of the boats. What up, Sasquatch? There's so much you can do with that iron. This is where things get mildly grindy, gathering all the iron. Right. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, load them up at night, sleep, profit. Yeah, it's a good way to do it. Oh, camera, please.
All right. Good stuff. Max production. We are enjoyers of this. I grab some more wood. Oh. All right. these things out we just need to keep all this stuff burning it's nighttime as well but wife is downstairs is she still on the server yeah wife is still online so i won't be able to sleep if she's not upstairs she went downstairs to uh warm up some pizza delicious tasty Yes, I know, Protyper. I just, um, old habits die hard, you know? You're right, though. You're right. I just gotta break the habit of doing it manually. Just gonna let this go. Let's do his thing for a few minutes while I uh, wrap things up here. Let's put some shit away. Put some shit in our pockets. Very good. But all right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to go ahead and call it a night here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to let all this iron just kind of do its thing. And uh, I won't I won't craft anything with it. I'm just going to make sure that it's all taken care of. All, and that's where I'll leave off for the day. I'll be back again tomorrow at 4 p.m. Eastern time to uh, pick up where we left off. We'll do some more swamp adventures, make some new gear, all that stuff, okay? Sound good? Thank you all so much for tuning into the stream tonight. Really appreciate your company. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, make sure you do. I do play a lot of video games on my channel here, both live and in videos. So it'd be great to have you guys here for more. Uh, thank you, uh, guys. We broke 28,000 subscribers today. The original... The original goal for the year for the, the year was 10,000. We blew that out of the water. We're now at 28,000. Absolutely incredible. Thank you all for joining my community, joining our uh, joining the channel. I really appreciate it. If you haven't already joined up on the Discord, make sure you do that. As well as, uh, you know, if you use Instagram, I use that as well. And uh, Twitter too. Exclamation mark links will give you all the links across the board. But anyways, folks, thank you so much for hanging out with me for another Valheim stream. I'll see you tomorrow at 4 p.m. Eastern time for more Valheim. Sound good? Until then, be excellent to each other. Have a great night, folks. I'll see you next time.